we say it's now, haven't we? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today is March 25th, and today is Pet Healing. My name is Deb Purcell, and this is my husband, Rick, mm-hmm. and we are healers. Uh, for those who are new, I will explain a little bit about ourselves. Um, we have a webpage. It's called HealTeachLove.org, and Rick and Phil Be- Philip Barrow and I are part of that we uh, discovered that we were healers after my husband, after I was doing decrees for about two, three years. And uh, one day I got frustrated because I was at home retired and I felt like I was wasting my time and um, not helping humanity. I, I saw many of my friends in spiritual groups that were doing so much for humanity. I was just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. And I said to my guides, find my joy or take me home. And it was then that they started, that Rick started seeing shortly after that, started seeing orbs and uh, angelic beings. And his third eye actually had blown open. He didn't even know what a chakra was or a third eye. And he woke up. He woke up. So, um, he, and then the white light of uh, creator came and merged with him shortly after that. And he's, he started, um, I started getting downloads when he would tell me about people that who were sick and I started getting downloaded information. So he's actually, the energy is through him. He is the healer and I get downloads. So we're a team We're both. Here. and I get channeled information on what is happening in, in your body um, or in the animal's body. And uh, we get uh, past life information and what else? Future. Oh yes. Future. We can see what future bring as far as sicknesses, illnesses, um, and that gets healed if it if um, that is part of the healing process. Um, we also get your angel Implant, implants and parasites. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> three years ago we teamed up with uh, Rick and I were doing healing and light languages and doing that on Saturdays. And three years ago we met Phil through um, Nilesh Mystery Archangel Metatron. And uh, he started he started joining us on our Saturdays, and we've been doing it ever since mm-hmm. together. We make a great team. Very great. And Philip, hello. <laughs> I'll just admit this person. Yeah, he, uh, it was great connecting with Nilesh, but the the unsung hero is uh, obviously Sophie that no one sees who does our videos, mm-hmm. and uh, without her, we'd have uh, we'd have difficulty. But uh, I'm a bit high at the moment because I've been healing for four hours at a school fight. So uh, I'm in, in I'm, I'm really high up at the moment. <laughs> uh, I always think it's fascinating what, what we see and what we feel like. If you scry hard enough, you can actually see the energies in the room. You can manipulate them with an hand like a conductor and move them where you want to. Uh, you can remote view people's insides which can be a bit graphic but at least you're seeing the problem and then you can manipulate them or you can actually take the actual uh illness or the pain off them and transfer it onto yourselves and then ground it uh because some people like to keep the energies and a lot of times it's okay us healing but you've got to find uh, why you why you have that problem what created that problem in the first place we can heal you but it might come back if you don't sort your either past life trauma or this life trauma or something on your journey that's not doing you well. Yeah. So uh, you can tell I'm in a different state, can't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, over to you, Dev. <laughs> yeah. Hey, are we ready to, ready to begin? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, I'm ready. <laughs> ready was, to- that, was that yo? Yo. Oh, <laughs> yo, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria or Bobby. Bobby. Okay, Victoria. Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, good evening, guys, yeah. Good yeah. evening. You guys have Bobby's visual here, so he's not coming. Right. Yeah, let's do him. I'm picking up a pain in his mouth, like a toothache. It's probably, you know, there's, he, he had an abscess. There's still this round ball in his mouth. It's, a, it, it's, it's still there. So I don't know if, if, it, if it's a toothache or whether it's just that piece of gum. I sent some healing. I think he bit it, actually. I wasn't sure if there's anything inside his teeth. I can't see any uh, parasites or implants. Either. No, just it's, t- it's his teeth. He's been struggling with breathing. Um, 
okay, I forgot to tell you what happened. Uh, um, basically, shortly after the session from last weekend for healing, he, my dumb brother, um, he had he 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 stepped on a bottle of those you know all-purpose cleaners, so those chemicals, and and it leaked onto the floor without without us knowing because we were in and out because had to go out. My sister had to get her car fixed, so we have to drive her. And so we spent some time outside just to keep her busy before she can pick up her car for repairs. And um, it was in to- it was very toxic. And baby became really sick. He just somewhat recovering from the diarrhea that he was having, the food poisoning, which almost, you know, which really hurt him badly. And, and you know, so he was sucking in, taking in all that um, poison, if you know what I mean. And I've been healing it. I've been taking it from him. Made me very sick, too. I can't even imagine how he felt, you know, the little guy right next to it. I cleaned it out, you know, however I could with water because there's, and try to air it out. But you know, it's, there's still some scent out there, like you know, uh, on the on the marble floor. It's just dried up there, and the scent doesn't seem to go away. But it's not as strong as when it's first there. When it was first there, he got really, really sick for the first few days, and so that created a huge problem with allergies with him. And he was sniffling away his nose. Like last night, I was wondering if he, you know, if he was going to be okay because. He's, he was whining and crying and he was having this very hard to breathe. He, w- he was having such difficulties throughout, you know, here and there. And it was really worrisome. When I looked at him last, well, last night will mean, you know, a few hours ago because I was watching him for most of the night. I watch him. I don't get to sleep much. I watched him a lot. Why do you have chemicals in your house like that? It's, it's just a all-purpose cleaner because sometimes he makes a mess. You know, like Lysol? White vinegar does the same thing, and it's non-toxic. I just want to let you know. Well. It's disinfectant. It's everything. White vinegar. And it doesn't leave streaks. You know what? You just gave me an idea. I could just get some. I always clean it with the water. I didn't think about using vinegar and water. That might actually help. Vinegar is the best stuff, and it's not toxic at all. I was thinking if I use that water and vinegar mixture and try to clean up that area more, the scent may actually go away because of the vinegar. Yeah, I think the vinegar will distract him from going there in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't the vinegar, know. Yeah. Well, no, the problem is that it broke right in front of the front door. Mm. And and at that time, I, was, I, was, I wasn't thinking. Let me ask you, know, you, your brother didn't think to clean it up? I, I originally no comment. I was the one who had to clean up. The guy, the guy wouldn't do anything. My family is like that. You should, you should feel sorry for me to be in this <laughs> Oh well, but you know, um, if you if you drop that, why don't you just clean the floor with it? <laughs> I didn't think about. Oh, no, I can't do that. I can't because I don't want to spread that area any more than yeah. it. I want to contain it because it was, it was concentrated in one area. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was concentrated. He it, it feel, it feels okay now. At the end of the day, you've just tested his uh, his health. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's his sinuses that make him. It, it's like. It's, an allergic reaction for him. Yes, yes. So all he does is get this dripping, constant dripping, and he's choking on mucus. And yes, yes, what it is, and it's you need to dry him up in Benadryl. I, Benadryl. I've been giving. Don't him overdo that. it with the Benadryl. Oh my god, I almost did that once when I didn't know better. Like I try to give him small amount, and then I'm like pouring in it. Oops, you know. <laughs> yeah, you have a yeah. Don't you have dropper. Do you have a dropper? Mm-hmm. They 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 have droppers for like babies. I am doing better at it. This time, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I originally pour it into the lid and then try to dip the food in and do it that way. But that didn't really work. So now I put, t- take the bottle and put the food and go right at the tip of it and go pour slowly in. And if I happen to drop any excess, it will not drop on the, the bowl that or the plate that he has his food served is somewhere else. So it won't affect the rest of the, the items, you know what I mean? Yeah, you so, can stop at a vet, a veterinary hospital, and they will give you one of those plunger things and show you a line, mark the line where you can give the, how much that is for Benadryl. They probably so won't charge you for it. Oh, my place will charge me for it. They charge well, how for much everything. can it be? A couple of I dollars. have no idea, but I would, I would get one if yeah, that's 
that's worth it, well worth it if it's even five dollars. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that much. <laughs> so you know, there are times when he won't eat, and sometimes you don't know if because because it takes well, the time. The dripping makes him nauseous. It upsets your stomach, and that's why he won't eat. Yes, he's also vomiting like so much. It freaked me out. Well, sorry to say. Yeah, but how is he now? He's he's eating. Is he is he vomiting now? Um, I don't think today. Not yesterday fine, he. Though. Yesterday, yesterday he vomited in the morning. Not not today, but yesterday, yesterday morning. But he was he 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 really scared me because when the toxin first was fully there, you know, before and when I realized it was a good like half a bottle spilled out. Yeah, like that's a lot. I think it's like you've given him a detox, isn't it? <laughs> he no, he was just. It, it's a lesson. It's a lesson at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, he was recovering from the. the the food poisoning, which he he gave me a dream. My guys were showing me that you know he died because basically he was at that point of you know he was so sick from the food poisoning and so tired of everything. He was in a lot of problems, and then he's better after the healing from you know you guys helped heal him some yes uh, last week, and then he immediately gets poisoned like that. You know the allergy from that poison, and I'm like. He vomited so much. Hmm. Then the, he vomited like um, he wasn't did, eating. Did he drink any? Did he, he was drink drinking. Any? He was drinking. He was drinking it. I mean, did he? Drink oh no, no, he wasn't any? drinking it. Um, good thing. Good thing that that liquid or whatever hmm. you did. Well, I mean, the vomiting is just getting rid of uh, some of the uh, energy from it, so it's fine. The, yeah, the vomit also helped with. I noticed that every time he he throws up, he threw up like. A, a portion of his weight because that's all he was doing. He was just drinking, and there was so much. And every time he threw up, with there would be mucus, mucus attached to it. So that helps because I'm thinking, well, something positive came from that. Not like you know, I want him to suffer, but he has an uh, allergic reaction to so many things. It's just um, I don't even know how how to help him with that. How it can strengthen his, you know immune or even you know the the nose area you know well uh, i've given him healing so yeah, yeah. So did we. So did we. we have two so you, you guys also have the allergy problem for your pets a bit. Uh, we did and yeah fred has uh allergy problems a couple times a year it just depends on what's blooming outside mm-hmm. uh, i actually don't know because i'm very bad dad <laughs> <laughs> he's still here, so that's fine. <laughs> he's 40, 14 and he's a big dog, but uh, I give him Ely now and again, so he should be okay. I asked Phil if he was doing cards. Are you doing cards? Uh, yeah. Is this for Bobby? Give us a shout. Stop. This could be to you, actually. This is to you. I thought you wanted one for Bobby. What? Oh. Sign, sign. So you've asked for help. Find, follow the signs and look for new skills, spiritual new skills. I think you're thinking about one, actually. I could feel it. I yeah. could. I was asking for many things. I actually want to want to expand more, mm. but I don't. Well, know what it's to... saying study. It's not. It's not like a, a shot at a supermarket where you just get a tin of beans and then I've got a tin of beans. You got to study the expansion, how to expand. Yeah. It's a little confusing because there's um, some galactic um, conditions. But, uh, how I expand, I, I bring in the galactic chakras, I'm expanding. I merge with aspects that are high vibration, I'm expanding. So there's two tips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so find an aspect, an aspect that's probably 9 to 11D and expand. So you Part, those... Partly merge, partly merge them in you meditation. You know those thunder beings? Are they what? What dimension are those guys? Which ones? The ones that showed up a um, couple of weeks ago. Um, My higher. Well, I was I was electrically charged. I was charged. Yeah. Well, they, they, they sound like sound like light beings. So they probably a book twelve do. I was sparking. Yeah. I was sparking even electricity here, and Bobby was getting zapped hmm. for a few days. He was like. Um, static charge with, with and, Victoria uh, 4 <laughs> yeah so so yeah 
Yeah, so I will call you later. Oh, okay. Call me later. Yeah. This is yeah, the podcast. Yeah. I'll keep call forgetting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Okay. I will send the send some payment if I can log into my PayPal here. Okay. You'll be you're oh, ready. Victoria. If you send me payment, just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm no, joking. no, no, no. You guys do the pets first. Some people may have to leave. Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay. We go Thanks. to the next one. Linda. Hello. Linda, she had um, cats. Do the, I don't know if it's a cat. One cat, Linda, who do not eat and do not sleep. That, that is a problem. <laughs> You're on mute, Linda. Or I, just, I can't hear you. You spoil that, Linda. <laughs> no, you're on mute. Yeah, and you, yeah, there. Yeah. You know now. Hello? Yes. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the first time. Um, uh, I, I don't know so much about you. Uh, I'm in the group for, for Philip. Uh, and last uh, Saturday, it just uh, popped up. So I said, okay, I join. And um, this week, uh, my cat has been very strange. And also, it just came to me today. I saw I saw your ad or what you say. And then, oh, animal. Oh, yeah, maybe I will be here in, in uh, the evening. So uh, just a short, short story. Uh, I live in Cyprus now. I have been here almost one year. And when I came to this rental house, uh, there were cats. So today I feed and take care of three cats. And uh, the one is a ginger. Her, her name is Luna. She's right here, if you can see. Can you take the blur off? Oh, yeah. Why do I have this? I'm, just put it I, on I'm again. Yeah, just put it, put it on again. It's just not. Uh, <laughs> just, just put the cat on again and let's have a look. Because it normally adjusts. It's on, it's on. So, there you go. There you go. Perfect. Little technique, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we see. Right. Here she is. This is Luna. Luna. And uh, get headphones on. Oh. I feel that there is something in her stomach and maybe her eyes. And just to tell you, around here, uh, we have this caterpillar from pine trees. Uh, which is very dangerous. My little dog, she was attacked of this, so her one uh, one piece of her tongue is gone. But cats are very smart. But uh, and also we have snakes here. Uh, and the thing I notice is that she will not eat and she sleeps very much. Do you have a picture of her with um, her eyes open? I have, but I have it in my mobile. Can I? Yes. Like I said, I'm not. Can yes. I take my mobile in Facebook? Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you want to send the picture to either me or Deb? And I'll share, screen share it. Yeah, we see. No, her eyes is not open at this picture. No. And of course, I empty my mobile. So the photo is on a disc. Mm -hmm. But uh, and I can wake, wake her, her up. up. Yeah, yes. wake her up and let her face the cover up. <laughs> Luna, come. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, sorry. You know, I don't, she's not, you know, my cat like this, but sometimes I'm a little afraid because she's not there. my cat. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, little more, Luna. It's like she won't, it's like that she doesn't want to open her eyes so much. Okay, don't get angry. Okay, we put you here again. Mm, sorry. Has it been raining there? It has uh, rain, yes. Is there a, a lot of cars in the streets? Uh, puddles, no. Puddles, no cars? We have cars, but not lots of it. I want to say that she was drinking out of a puddle and it's antifreeze. It was watered down uh, antifreeze. Yeah, I, I, I have seen from my kitchen window that uh, two of our cats drinking from the, I don't know the English name, water on the puddle yeah 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 i have seen see, that if you see it's got like um greasy or like there's a rainbow color in it um mm -hmm. antifreeze in it and i think yeah, oil, even oil even diesel mm -hmm. there's a... yeah there's she's got a little it's got a, she's poisoned a little bit it's not killing her but it's it will slowly kill her 
Oh. Yeah, drink lots of water. Mm. Yeah, because we, we were so shocked when we saw that our cat was drinking from the water mm, because every, uh, they have this glass bowl outside with the filter water. I gave I give them it's got every a, day. It tastes sweet. The antifreeze has a, ah, uh, it tastes sweet. sweet. And okay. that's why sometimes the animals drink from it. And mm. if they put a flavor or a, or a smell in it so that, I, I don't know why they do this, but anyway, the animals think it's got food it's got some kind of food and it, it's actually poisonous but oh. it, it wasn't there wasn't a lot of it in there because or they would have died right away yeah enough for it 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 slowly poisons them they keep going back and drinking it but but um I, uh, i'm sorry maybe i don't understand but where did uh, this come from the cars the automobile is dripping the, car. the cars yeah, there's, there's a leak in their in their radiators it comes from the radiator of the car. Okay. So should I take her to a vet? No, yeah. we're gonna we'll we'll take care of it. Yeah, we'll give her some meal. You're just showing you don't have to open eyes. I'll just can I just see her again? Yeah. yeah. Her again, yeah. You don't need have to do the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, the eyes is to scan, but even it's it's straight. Oh. Let me see if I take the computer. She does. Can you look here? Yeah, I've got some in a chest there. I'm picking some of it. It's like a, a slight pain. Yeah. Yeah, it could be the acids, can it? Yeah. It's affecting all her organs, Phil. Hmm. Just uh, release some of her, her pain from the chest. What do you feed her? What What do I feed her? Yeah. Uh, dry food and wet food, uh, these pieces in a sauce. Yeah, I, I'd, uh, I'd give her more wet food than dry, but I'd put a bit of water in as well. So she's having it, better water. Yeah. 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 But she hasn't eaten now all week. Yeah. Definitely it's pain here. It's probably affecting her. Putting an energy in her heart. It's creator's energy. It's a white diamond light. And it'll go into her heart that way. But when it pumps out, every time her heart beats, it'll pump out molten gold and energy. It'll go through her blood. Mm. And it'll, okay. it'll, it'll heal every organ in her body. Good. Every organ. Uh, and this will stay with her for at least a week and okay. just constantly flow through her bloodstream, her, through her whole body, her mouth, mm. her, 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 even to her fingernails. Okay. Yes. Constantly pumping every time her heart beats, it's constantly going through. She's going to start feeling like a warm water going through her body. Oh, nice. Very. And then Philip is, his energy is going through as well, taking mm. the away. You should see a difference within 24 hours. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I've been told feed her wet food today. Yeah. yeah just feed her wet food, put a bit of yeah. water in it. Up. If you see puddles around, uh, I don't know whether you can throw cat cat uh, cat litter in it because it'll absorb, absorb it. It'll absorb yeah. the oil and all the um all the stuff that's laying on top of it that they're they're tempted to drink. Yeah, uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, like I said, I live in Cyprus and we, we don't have much rain here. <laughs> but the, the, now... the prob- the, I think the problem as well could be diesel, and, yeah. and it goes on the road, it goes on the road, it goes we... on the road, and it stays on the road, and then you get a rain pour, and that yeah. is lethal. Where in the UK we have rain every day, it just gets drained away. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I, I know our neighbors; uh, they have diesel car. Um, and uh, where we park our car, we have these stones. Um, yeah, it's not. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, my English. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, but uh, I can't say if she drinks from our block or if she goes somewhere else to drink. But uh, I understand. Mm. So I will. I will do what I can do around my house. Where if I see if it's raining and it's something outside i can go and put more yeah something on so it disappears yeah, yeah i understand yeah because you want them not to drink from the road yeah yeah and we were like i said we were so shocked why are you going there you yeah. have your ball yeah yeah and it's clean water our cats, really our like cats do the same thing they drink <laughs> in the puddles in the backyard but at least the, yeah. it's the backyard or there's not any toxins you know, yeah, 
Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, oh and, no, yeah. rainwater, rainwater is not toxins. Mm. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not from no, the streets where the yeah. you know, no, I understand. Cars. And, uh, and actually, also, we are so happy that they are drinking from the bowl because when we moved here, they were drinking from the pool. Well, the pool is not bad. That's better for them. They won't get fleas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I, our cats <laughs> drank the pool water and never got a flea. <laughs> I also yeah. think I also believe you can talk to your cat. Oh, tell, you them can. Not to drink, tell them not to drink on the street. You can talk yeah. to them. They will understand. Yeah. They do understand. They understand. Yeah. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. I, I believe very much in cats. I have read these books. Uh, I don't know. I think it's it's translated in uh, English also. Uh, it's from uh, it's from the cats. So the cats are telling the story, and she just write the book. Uh, it was so interesting. I know they are very spiritual, and yes. I will have a talk with this Luna. Yeah, yes. cats are actually yeah. multi-dimensional animals. Yeah, they absolutely. Outside. They are not from Earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, they are not. No, no you thank other, you. I will. Other, do you have any others that we need to look at? Uh, it's just my, like I said, I have a little York, Yorkshire. She is uh, 10 months, 9, 10 months. And uh, it was the first time about this caterpillar because in Sweden we have the pine trees, of course, but we don't have the caterpillar. And she, I don't know if she was biting on it or it just spray on her. So she got a very big on her tongue and uh, it ends that it was white and rotten so one piece of the tongue is gone but I need to go I, 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 I took her to a vet because I was really scared and I didn't know anything about this so, so the, the caterpillars there are poisonous yes extremely poisonous also for us human we can get very allergy if they spray on us and the skin will be red and yeah you know they are extremely poisoning mm. i think like well, lily said is... talk to talk to yorkshire terrier yeah Don't eat, eat the caterpillar and what, if you put your hand to it, its brain and try and connect and show the pitch of it with a no yeah and mm. then try try and go through it i think i think it will understand yeah, do, you want to show, no, do you want to show a picture of him or show him or do you want us to give him some healing? Uh, the dog, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I can. I can get her. Yeah, I said him. Now, we now, I'm just saying, I said a name, but you never know nowadays. Him and her are about the same nowadays. <laughs> so yeah, her name is uh, Sadie. Hi, Sadie. <laughs> can you look here? I bet it's going to be difficult talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, my lesson is that uh, this month, when the caterpillar is here, uh, she is not allowed to go out in the garden with me without a leash. Mm -hmm. What's happening? She has a heart murmur. You brush her teeth? <clears throat> Do you no, brush I don't brush. I don't brush her teeth. You may want to try and get a soft, soft toothbrush and brush her teeth a little, just with baking soda. Baking soda. Yeah, just uh, warm water and baking soda. I mean, the softest brush, for a human brush that you can okay. buy. And just yeah. brush, just with baking soda and water. Okay, make, I make will. Make a paste out of it and just just try and do it. If she doesn't like the brush, use your finger. Just brush her gums. Exactly. The, it was yeah, what I was thinking. My finger. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. If you can try and get her in the habit of, of letting you brush her teeth, that way you don't have to pay for the, dent, the uh, vet to do it. And her gums okay. and teeth will stay in good shape oh nice yeah yeah she she will she's very kind oh, so that will be no problem yeah i did um we're doing healing on her heart she's got a little heart murmur yeah yeah just the timing is off a little bit mm -hmm. and, and she would be all right with it but um we're just going to do healing on it so she won't have a problem later thanks i i've been healing her back she's got a slight bad back a bit of pain in her back yeah 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 I don't, it might be something that Yorkshire Terriers have, but mm -hmm. uh, it was quite painful. Okay. And uh, I can also mention that the vet, when we were there, he said that she has a double tooth that uh, it needs to remove, but I don't know if she can live with it. Mm. The father said that that will come out naturally itself. Just let it be. Mm. Okay. 
<coughs> rather than have them put her out and, and pull it. Mm. Yeah, that was my feeling also. I was thinking I, I, it doesn't feel so bad. So it Just, was nice to confirm it now. Yeah. Mm. We will start brushing your teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you can... I would um, just be careful. Some of the poo any food by Purina is not good for cats or dogs. No, no, I don't give. I give her a grain free. The name. Oh, I, I don't know if we have Purina here in Cyprus. I don't um, think so. Anything that's a company that's associated with Purina, their their yeah. food is um, making dogs very sick, even slowly sick. So make oh. sure that there's no Purina association. Yes, actually, I like the raw food to dogs, also yeah. the cat, you know, real yes. meat and this. Yes. But it's so hard here in Cyprus because they don't support it because of the heating and everything. I hate to give dry food. Uh, yeah, so I try sometimes to do my own food, cook chicken and uh, sweet potato and peas. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes I... I give her the dry food because, you know, yeah. but if, if I had stayed in Sweden, I definitely give the raw food, the yeah. real meat. Mm. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. Even an egg. Egg? For, yeah. What did you say? The internet was... I, the, even an egg, a couple of eggs are good. It's... Yeah, I do. Cook. I cook the egg. The I don't cat, give it raw. The cat um, canned tuna is better than the cat food. Yes. And also, they like to eat the raw meat. I, I give I give them sometimes. Yes, mm. they do. They really love it. I, I would add water to it, and then then she doesn't need to drink all the water because she, you're giving her water in the meal. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. just add more water, mm. but don't add uh, antifreeze with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you mean the dog or the cat now, Phil? Both. 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 <laughs> both. <laughs> okay. Do you want? Do you want to give her cards? Yeah, it might be to you or you, the cat or the dog. What? Well. Just say stop, and I can give you two oracle cards from the angelics. Stop. It's probably for you actually. Oh, ask your support team and a bit of frequency. It could be to the to the cat actually. It might what want is some. It? It's music. music. Yeah, music. Huh? So frequency to ground them so uh, you can give it to yourself and, and the animals quite easily support just ask your support team to help yeah yes so ask your support team to help and put some probably 11 11 hertz uh just let the animals and yourself listen to it and it'll ground them a bit yeah yeah mm -hmm. we used to listen to music uh, uh what is it over 500 hearts. What do you say? Hearts? Yeah. 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 Hertz, yeah. 500 is uh, like your heart chakra. Uh, as you, as your hertz go up, it, so yeah. your chakras are up. So 1100 is probably your crown or even higher. Could be the eighth, eighth chakra or something like that. Maybe ninth. I'm mm -hmm. not 100%. So the higher the frequency, the higher is the chakras. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We do. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so, so much. You're welcome. It okay. was so interesting. Thank we you. We go to the next one. The next one is Darren for her cat. Hi, Darren. Hi, Darren. You're on mute, hon. Hey, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let me um, share a picture for you. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, my cat. Uh, her name is Kit Kat. Oh. And uh, so having some uh, issues with her. So, um, so we've had this cat for many years. I think she's going on seven, eight years old now. So we've had her. Uh, so she was, we had to leave her with uh, some family at the time because we were moving. Uh, so we recently reignited her back into the house. And so we had a two additional cats. So she's not really getting along well with those two cats. And then she's uh, not really eating. Uh, she's very picky uh, with her food as well. So we've been having issues with that. She does not do well with others. Was she on yes. home before you moved? No, uh, so she she got along okay with the dogs when we had dogs, but uh, she's never really gotten well with the other cats. She's it'll take her a long time to get used to the other cats, but right now she's pretty obstinate. She's letting me know oh, I'm I don't like them. I want to be the queen. <laughs> <laughs> How dare they get other two another two cats? <laughs> yeah, she's pretty stubborn. She will eventually come around. You're just going to have to have patience with her, but she is not liking this this whole 
I'm getting she's happy back. I, she's back. Deb, I'm getting that. She's happy she's back, but she's not happy what she's back with. <laughs> yeah. So. Are they males, the other two cats? Uh, one's male, one's female. Mm-hmm. I think she's having a hard time with the male. Actually, she's having a hard time with both. But yeah, dogs don't bother her. That's a, that's amazing in itself. Are you feeding her something different than what she's used to? Uh, so when she was originally in our house, uh, before we had her uh, on a raw diet, and then when we left her with family, they put her on dry food. So she's back to eating raw, uh, but she only likes the chicken. She doesn't like the beef or the fish uh, that we would try to feed her. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you feed a little bit of dry food with her? With her? No, we don't feed any dry food. Uh, it's all um, regular food. Um, so it has like bone meat, uh, you know, different types of cuts of uh, chicken and stuff in it. That's what she's been primarily eating. Yep, you're feeding her very healthy. <clears throat> this is well, but she got used to the dry food. Didn't it? <laughs> it's not good for her, though. Yeah, it might have been worth slowly going from dry food to, you know, slowly doing it instead of going it in one hit. She's really healthy. I don't see anything wrong with her other than other than um, being upset with the living situation. Well, that's she's good glad. to hear then. Yeah, she, she's very glad to be back with you. Is she affectionate with you? Yes. Because she does. She does love you very much. She's just um, yes. testing you. Yeah, she's <laughs> testing you to see if uh, you'll get rid of the other two because you're her main. <laughs> she, wants, she wants you to only love her. <laughs> I can see that. I was first. <laughs> she's she. You know how cats like to train you. Yes, I could see that. Yeah, she's um. She'll come around. It's just going to take time. It just and as far as the diet, um, if she's eating the chicken, it, it, you're you're doing the right thing for her. It, it, the only dry food I would get is for, with a holistic uh, vet. I wouldn't go and get to any dry food. You can do tuna too. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Tuna, tuna in a can is the best, the only yeah, alternative, right, I, right. because okay. um, it, there's no canned food that's good for cats in the in the stores, right. other than a, like a holistic vet that carries some really good stuff. It's very expensive, but that's what we, we get our food from the holistic. We have one right across the street. We're so fortunate when we move. I don't know. We're going to have to stock up and buy a bunch of it before we leave until we find one where we're going, but she's... um. Yeah, she might be better with you now. I've tried to talk to her. So. Yeah. Yeah. So she could be better now. Yeah. This week, okay. she might change a little bit. All yeah. right, I'll look out for it. She's not ill at all. She's got, just got to get reassurance, you know, going to send her back to wherever. That's what it is. Okay. She's got fear of going back. She wants to stay with you. Yeah, that's true, too. She is going through a little trauma of being afraid that you're, she's going to be put away, put, put somewhere else again. Yeah, I think one of the issues is, um, so we had a dog um, and her that we end up leaving. And uh, so the dog got to the point where he was very old, so we had to put him down. And uh, I know they had bonded over a period of time. So when she came back in the house, she was looking for him and couldn't find him. So I think that could have also been a traumatic experience for her. Yeah. She yeah. probably blames the two cats. <laughs> that could be quite easily. Yeah. Surprised now because she can bond with dogs so well. She will. It, it'll it'll happen in time, but she's um she's a little nervous. Okay. You may have to give her some extra attention for a little bit. Easy enough, we can do that. And and yeah, and let her know that you aren't going to leave her anymore. You have to keep reinforcing okay. that. Okay. That was actually part of the negotiating, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Got some oracle cards for you or your cat. Sure. You say uh, stop. Stop. Why I've got it. So, body care, soulmate. Ah, the dog was a soulmate, oh. but a soulmate oh. on a spiritual level. Ah, I get that now. Yeah, yeah, it just came. Yeah, amazing how it came to me. So, you just need to take care of a physical body. Uh, you're feeding her well, so that's great. And uh, yeah, it, it sounds like it was a soulmate. That's why she's uh, missing. And it's not like it's a spiritual soulmate. Amazing. Okay. Okay. And that just came message to me. So very quickly. Okay. okay well, thank you. Well, thank You're you. Welcome. Okay. We go to the next one from Lana for her cat, Sage. That looks like the resonance. Is she resonance a cat? Oh, there you go. 
What's her name? Sage. I had taken her off the uh, wet food and um, about a week ago and uh, have her on some good, really high quality dry fat food and she's just not eating. It's been five days now. Whoa. Is she drinking water? Yes. Mm -hmm. Say hi. I, I can't see her because of the background. She keeps fading. Oh, oh. okay. Um, let's see if I can get rid of the background effect. No, there we go. There you go. Yeah, just temporarily. Okay. There. There I go. Okay, there's something in her stomach. Looks like there's a tumor in her stomach that. Pretty, oh, boy. It looks pretty large. Okay. It's been removed. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Phil, did you see anything else? I, I uh, did some healing. Uh, oh, that was that difficult. Intestines as well. What? Oh, sorry? I was that diff that was quite difficult. I was only doing that one. Yeah, I just saw I some. Her intestines were uh, red. Um, but that was it. Was a very large tumor. It was which is would that she wouldn't eat because of that. Oh my! Wow. I was sending platinum right into it, straight into. It. Okay. So with it, she should you should see a difference within the next twenty four hours. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so very much. Well, it must be. It must have been from the food then for sure. The wet food. And you just have to be careful because um, there's such a change in. Mm -hmm what they're putting in cat food and dog food. Now uh, there are people calling and letting us know that their animals are going through seizures. Um, you have to get, you have to give them real food. You have to give them, I mean, tuna from a can, yeah. the cheapest route for you that um, if you could see what's in, what it says on the cat food and what it contains in the cat food is not the same. Exactly. I know. I phoned them and I said, you know, by law, you need to tell me absolutely every ingredient. And I would like to speak to one of your, you know, um, production managers, techs or whatever. And um, the woman on the phone, she gave me to him or he phoned me back and he said, actually, no, I don't have to tell you anything. So I said, so just your opinion um, of not giving me everything that I need to know what's in your, your cat food is a volition in regards to toxins and a lot of them. So I will make sure that I share that online and Facebook and every other outlet that I can. Thank you. And he just hung up. He didn't care. He don't. No, not at all. So thank you so much for helping her. Yeah. It's, it's you know, and you can find it's, it's cheaper. It, you can find white fish and it's wild caught white fish in the freezer department of any grocery store for seven dollars and it's enough yeah. to feed your cat for a month two months it's just wild caught white fish i found it in a grocery store it was um okay i'm in arizona so i mean it's hard I, I think the logic is if they're willing to put what they put in our water and our food what they're going to do in animals Yes, of course, of course. And there's uh, four people that own absolutely every single company in the entire world. So, yeah, is that, is that, is, is that white rock? I'm I, joking I, there. I'm joking. Oh, okay. there. Yeah, I'm joking. Uh, the only thing with the white fish is it, it says they remove the bones, but sometimes they're small ones. Who I, I, I was taking it and with my fingers and, you know, mushing it up, like making sure there were any bones. I, mean, I, only found, I only found a couple in, in the whole bag. So yeah, it's, it's actually two companies that own 90%, but I'm not telling oh. you which one. Yeah. Well, yes, they probably, yeah, they, that was about 10 years ago. I knew that there was only yeah. four of them. So yeah, there's probably. It's two, it's two and they own each other anyway. One's BlackRock and the other one's another company. I can't remember. It starts with a V. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I'm sure there's other people that need your help. So I'll let you move on to the next. Thank you. Do you, you want, want do you want cards? Um, no, I'm I'm good. Um, I'll be back. I've got to. Uh, I know that you're going to be going to heal people. I know, like for myself, for my neck and my brother Leonard. So, um, would an hour be roughly good to come back in about an hour? Yeah, sure online. Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll see you guys then. Yeah, you want to so stay much. in the queue? <laughs> we'll we'll leave you in the queue. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give that. You. Give your name to uh, Lily. You okay, know. I'll do that right now. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So we have the next one, Anka. Anka for her dog, Milo. Okay. Hi. Hello. 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 Oh, Milo. Milo. This is Milo. Mm -hmm. Hi, Milo. Oh. Handsome boy. He was diagnosed with epilepsy in 2020, and he's uh, taking like medication like four times a day plus Milo. supplements to protect his liver from the medication. So it's like five times a day medication. And he still gets seizures every three months. Wow. He Milo. used to do it once a month, but now it's like three, four months. He's pretty happy, a very picky eater, but um, yeah, his the medication, it's a lot of work for, for myself. Let try and see his face again. Come here, buddy. I need, I need his eyes. I need his eyes. He's got an implant hmm. in his head. Yes, you do. Hi, handsome. Behind the left eye. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. He's got one in his back left paw. Is a trace the tracker? He's got another one on his spine where his root chakra would be. Mm -hmm. He's got two implants. And he has a little bit of a bump on the back. Um, here he doesn't really let, let me touch it on this. It's a little bit of bump. Yeah, that's uh, that's where the other implant is. Mm -hmm. He don't like me to touch you there. I know. He's like, no touching. <laughs> he just wants to play. Mm -hmm. Can I look at your eyes? Can I look at your eyes too? My? Yeah. Yes. You. <laughs> Am I in a good light or it's a little bit dark in here? It's cloudy today, so it's not much. Do you get headaches? Headaches? Not much. Not much. Like, I mean, I think I feel like a, actually constant pressure in my head and stuff. Uh -huh. But not like those migraines kind of stuff. Like, no, I don't get like big pains, but... It's... But you get pressure in your head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> do, you, do you also get some on, the, on your neck, sh stroke shoulder? Like Again, pain. Yeah. Not, not pain, but it's pressure Rough. kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. And it's not... You've got implants too. Mm -hmm. What kinds? Like... To be honest, oh. these, because we've been getting rid of some... They keep on changing <laughs> because they've been trying to trying to trick us. Who's doing that? Uh, it'd be either Draco's or Archons. I'm sorry. Can it'd be you... either Dra Draco, Draco, or Archons. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've been told just to send uh, uh, platinum and rain to him, so uh, mm -hmm. you'll feel a different energy coming into you now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then we'll just remove. I'll just get my my bob to get rid of them. It's a spiritual being that it eats them. Sounds weird, then. Mm -hmm. And you got a tracker in your left toe, foot. You ever feel anything in your left foot? Um, well, not. She's got one in her left el elbow, too. She's got two, uh, two trackers. You must be. Uh, do you do anything spiritual? Well, I'm trying. I'm working on my, you know, trying to discover, uncover. Mm. No, try and, my... yeah, try and work on it as much as you can for them to be interested in you. You must have a good light. So I'd be I'd be interested in uh, what 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 your gifts are. Yeah, I would definitely. Be. Yeah, I I try to take all to read and take all these courses and take all the attunements and stuff. And I'm having very hard time accessing anything, pretty much. So well, the, yeah, once we once we get rid of all of this stuff, you won't have any problem. Okay. Yeah, just for everyone else, we're doing this because. If we clear the dog, it could mm -hmm. be reinfected with you. <laughs> so we might as well do it all at the same time. Oh, same. She's, got, she's got a couple of portals in the house. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is there something that I can do that to keep it clean and protected? Keep, keep your vibration high. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that as soon as we get you cleaned up, cleared and, and the house Thank cleared. You. Thank you. Thank you. You must be very powerful for them to want to do this. Just know that. Mm. You'll feel, do you feel this energy coming into you now? I'm getting quite a few chills. <clears throat> it's all done, Deb. Okay. How do you feel? You feel different? 
Um, not much. I don't. <laughs> I don't recognize the difference, but I would like to. I would love to. You wake up tired. Yes. Yeah, that, that's that's the implants draining you. While you sleep, you should be refreshed when you wake up. But implants oh. tend to deliberately drain you. So you should I be am. okay when you wake up. Okay. That will be amazing if I can not be tired because I'm pretty much tired all the time. I take like two naps during the day and stuff like that. So, yeah, that will yeah. be... Uh, Sandy, I'm doing healing on the dog right now. Mm -hmm. I'll send some on you. Thank you. Together. Creator's energy into the dog's heart and did the same with him. Did you? Did we lose her? Yeah, I think we just lost her. That's not. I don't think. Uh, I think I just finished her. As as we lost her. All right. Well. Had a bad back. Okay, Lily, let's move on to the next one and then we'll get back to her after this next one. Okay, the next one is a pet from Susan Aren for her pet Mia. You're on mute. You're off mute. Click the microphone. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I got disconnected like three times. It's my phone here, the connection. Mia is a Shih Tzu. She has a cyst on one of her nipples and it she had one of these about two years ago, and they said it was normal because she wasn't spayed, and that this sometimes happens and it could reoccur, and it did. And it's gotten larger, and you know, this spring, another month, we're going to have them remove remove it. But what has been happening to her is this like wheezing and coughing, and she on pregnizone, and um, seems like after she drinks water. It's, I think it started with like a backward sneeze. I'm going to, she's laying down. Does she have a flat face? A little bit, yes. Here, I'm going to, I'm, she's right here. Mimi, honey. I can't see her face. Show everybody her face. Can you see now? Oh. Hold on. And since she's been on pregnancy, she's gained about four pounds. Oh, that's a steroid. Well, she had this. When she went off the stair, when she wasn't on the stairway, that's why they put her on because of the wheezing. And it doesn't stop. I mean, she keeps with her stomach going in and out. How old is she? 13, mm. almost 14. <laughs> Here she just wheezed after she drinks water. But it's, I feel it not in her chest, I feel it in her lower stomach, this like a push. And I thought at first that using, she was constipated. Using her stomach muscles instead of her chest muscles to breathe. Yeah. So she's got, you know, it's almost like a COPD. She's, she's, had, she's laboring to breathe. And you know what? And I felt this after I was burning a candle and I guess I forgot about it. And, and it seemed to have like started after that. And many years ago, um, there was a lot of smoke in the kitchen. You know, I don't you, know if this would happen. What kind of candle are you burning? I was burning a spiritual candle and it was a scented, like um, it's all natural oils. So it was. Okay. So, you know, that may affect your breathing too. So you may mm, not want okay. to burn those. I, I would have right. said the same. Not in front, of, not with a, in the same room. Yeah. Not, don't, yeah. don't burn the perfume, perfumed candles because it may affect her, her respiratory. <laughs> That's, you know, I've even so far, I was worried about them even having them in the, room and not lit this one is um it's like yeah this one's for love it's um heart chakra balancing relaxing but you know what it happens after she's okay all day and as soon as she gets up and drinks water it starts and it almost looks like her nose is running a little bit what water is she drinking but water yeah tap water tap water. water um i it's back and forth I give her bottles sometimes. My mother, you know, she gives her regular, but it's back and forth, and we're changing it a lot. So is it tap water? Or is it so I'm wondering. Water? Yes, back and forth. Some days, you know, it's honestly I've been giving her tap water, yeah. and then some days, um, you know, and then I changed it to bottled water. Yeah, and don't give I it give tap her water. water from my cup. I was yeah, just tap water. Don't give it tap water. Okay. And I got getting her off dog food. She went back on it a little bit. And I've been giving her chicken, sweet potato, 
sometimes stream beans and white potato. But I did go, you know, back a little on dog food. And it's, I know the dog food's not good. And that was thinking about that too. And I just forgot. I was having such a hard time remembering. It's um, Caesar. Yeah, that's crap. Yeah, it is. I know you're right. It's total shit. Ooh, I could kick myself in the butt. Well, I'd be getting rotisserie chickens and taking them apart. They said they saw a little, she had x-rays and they saw a little spot on her lungs, a little spot. And they thought it was COPD too. And it was funny. Just before that, it was a few days before that, I was burning a candle. Are you going to speak, Deb? Go <laughs> Are you watching Susan doing some work? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing mine. I'll show you. This is the only room I can keep my connection. It's a crystal. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you. When's your birthday, Deb? September 24th. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> my, mine's next Tuesday. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm going to say it's a little fat. It's a little feminine, but I know. I mean, I've been, been connecting to the feminine side. So I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting lots of love in it. I'll be up there July 4th weekend. Am I going to see you? Yeah, I'll call you. Yes, 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 yes. What, what crystals are they? What crystals no. are they? Well, they're, um, they've been fired. They're, these I've had for, oh my God, maybe about 10 years. Yeah. Well, put your hands on them, ask Source to help you, put love into them, and then when your dog's asleep, just, just put them on there. Use them for healing with intent. Put my, what did you say? Put my arms around them? No. <laughs> go, go on, Deb. You translate. <laughs> yeah, put, put love in them. Put love in them. Mug? Love. L-O-V-E. Love. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. even kissed them before. Like, oh my God. Yeah. I had a heart selenite, is it? Yeah. Oh my, it's the yeah. night I kissed it because every night I can't find it. And I say, ask my guardians, please help me find this. And in a minute so, they do. This time it's been days and I haven't found it. Well, you're not supposed to find it then. No, but you, That's you, right. give, put, you kiss and give it love and, and use it with the intent to heal your dog and put it on your dog. Mm. Oh, put it. Okay. Think of yeah, the best you know, before... time. Yeah, think of the best time you've ever had. Just say when you see a child or something like that, and think of that moment and put and, and hold the crystals and pour it into them crystals. And then uh, when your dog's asleep, just pour it come onto the dog. But ask the crystals I... to heal. Yeah. I've been hugging her and just like every night I just pick her up and my and I could hear her. She's just groaning, but I could feel it. I feel that it brings me to tears how much I love her and how much I want her to feel better. And it's so funny when I finally put her down, she quickly walks right over to a little blanket on the side of me. And she wants me to keep doing it. <laughs> but I know, I know she feels my love. But, I, you know, she came in my room the other night and a tear was coming down one eye. Yeah, that's, the, yeah. But, um, she's, she definitely have, has lung problems. So the healing had to be in her lungs. She has yeah. lung issues. And and um and I even said, it sounds like she sounds like she's got COPD. And I saw her lungs, um, the pressure on them. And it's like she smoked all her life. Her lungs are so bad, but they're better. Aww. They're better now. You should see. Sometimes it. I smoke in my bedroom and she would come in my room. I have the windows open, but then I got a, she were out and. And I'm thinking this happened where my mom forgot to, you know, leave. We left the, a kettle on where there was the mortar evaporated. And then another time we left the house and didn't know that there was water in a pot with two hard boiled eggs. And the, we pulled it two hours later, the whole house was filled with smoke. And this is a few years back and maybe about four or five. Well, that, so that, that's not going to affect her. 
that won't affect it. So it's the cigarettes, but they're organic yeah. and chemical should... free. <laughs> chemical free. <laughs> you should smoke <laughs> outside. It's okay. your baby. It's your baby inside. She, and you, you she is. The and I... You should smoke outside. <laughs> you know, the, the I'd like to say the normal me does that all the time, especially in the summer and the fall. But, you know, when it's cold and raining, then I just go in the bathroom. You'll, you'll, have, you'll, you'll have to give up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need help. I'm definitely ready. If you have healing at the after, later on, I'll, I'll try and program your brain so cigarettes don't taste the same. Well, you might have to get rid of other stuff in there first. <laughs> <laughs> Lord knows mm. what Deb's going to find. And Philip. <laughs> I had a pain in my shoulder, and pain in my neck, my stomach. I've been, I don't know, it's like definite, it feels like energy because my, oh, I hate to say this. Um, I, don't, I don't mean hate, but I really am embarrassed to say this here. Go on. <laughs> just can't go to, just cannot go to the bathroom unless I use coconut Greek oil. God, Greek God yogurt. Oh, Greek Works God? Like work. Greek God yogurt. It's got probiotics and, and prebiotics in it. it. And it tastes great. Oh, do you buy flavors or just the plain? You can you can buy the flavors. It's just, I like the vanilla. Is it organic? And, I have no idea if it's organic. <laughs> it just works. And okay. I pick it. <laughs> do you want a card? For, is there yeah. any way that you could check on me or is that later? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, unless we we feel that you might have something dangerous connected to the animal, well, it's, got, it's got to be late. Yeah, that's why we took care of her because she also had implants. We needed to get rid of all the implants. Oh, she did. No, the lady, I, the lady before. No, her. no, you, you're not you. Oh, no, oh, your okay. dog didn't have implants. The woman who <laughs> the dog and her. We had to take care of all the implants, or else it wouldn't have done any good because they just would have just put more. <clears throat> Say so stop, she does. and you can have a, you can have a tarot card for your duck. Okay, so oh, I'll give you two. Trust, trust, and children. So trust is. I think oh my this could God. be you. This could be you, actually. <laughs> yes, this uh, is huge with me and you, Tisha. You're too difficult on yourself. Believe. Let let lessons go. Go forward, and children start honor your inner child and play. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun with your, with your dog. What's that? Well, he's not yeah. even talking to me, my son. Well, yeah, that's because you're not having fun with it. I can't have fun <laughs> if, he, if, if he blocks me, but I send him a lot of love. But your dog. What do they do? Have fun with your dog. Have fun with your dog. Yeah, yeah. I do. You know, it's when um, it's when she's like, I, it's almost like I've been doing it when she's up to it because she's been sleeping a lot. But sometimes when I could tell. Like, um, but it, I don't know why after she's wheezing more, like now she's fine. But after she drinks water, that's when it starts. Yeah. Would it COPD, would that matter with water? I do, I, it depends on the water. Yeah. Tap water I, I, I is. Give, I give my, my animals distilled water only. Okay. Well, I have one with electrolytes. I'll pick, no, that's give distilled that. water doesn't have electrolytes. It's distilled water. Right, but just for tonight, can I give her the elect or Fiji? It's like a natural spring water. That's fine. Okay, I'll get her the distilled water. Now, should I drink distilled water once in a while? Yeah, it's good for you too. It has no metals in it. Oh, oh purify your tap water. Get a purifier. I don't drink tap water for years. I don't. I, I said if you get a purifier, then you can drink your tap right. water because it's purifying okay. it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Translation. Okay, so the chicken is good. How about the prednisone? Should I continue? Finish the prednisone because you can't just stop her on it. Yeah, and I made a mistake. I I cut it down myself because I thought maybe it was too much because she was panting, and and I did that. This stupid me. I did that, and I put her back up to. I know I'm like thinking I'm her doctor. You know, she's my precious, and I'm always going in there telling them what to do. She doesn't have this. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. Susan, so we're going to move on. Okay. Do, do, you, do you know at the healing center, because we all talk after each healing, we have a bell. Someone rings the bell now to go on. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get a bell. Okay. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Okay, now we have to move 
We're going to. I'm going to go back to Anka, Anka who. Go, go back to Anka. Yeah. Anka? Yes, I'm back. Okay. Okay. I'm I, wanted to finish, yes. I wanted to finish with you because you got disconnected. Yes. How do you feel? Uh, uh, feel good. Feel good. Yes. As I said, I don't I don't feel any like changes. Right. Did we take care Pardon. of the portals in your house? No. I got we got rid of the implants, but we didn't stop the portal. Mm -hmm. But Thank I'll you. I'll I'll check you over again just in case you nick one in while we while we lost you. I always been asked, okay, do you feel do you feel that I'm I try to do Reiki and all this energy healing and very rarely I feel the energy flowing towards me or from me. That's a bit frustrating. I'll I'll try and get you a uh, summit from source a key to open you up. You don't need Reiki, you've got all the you, your own power can do it. Yeah, you've got all the power inside. So you right. can do your own healing. Yeah, well, yeah. I, call, I call it Reiki because, you know, it's just a common name for no, the yeah. healing in general. But yeah, I'm, I'm a kind of aware of all this energy and healing. I feel like I can just access it and use it. Like I would love to do healing for everyone and help and myself and everyone around me. I'm do, just, you, do you see energies? No, I do don't. You, do you feel energies? Not much, no, not not feeling. It's more like a knowing. Sometimes, sometimes it's not. It doesn't happen when I'm kind of trying to say, okay, I'm constantly focusing on something, and I say I'm knowing of this. It just suddenly comes whenever I'm doing whatever, and just I get the knowing of something, of energy, or so. If if uh, an energy walked in the room, like a, uh, like an archangel or um, an ascended master walked in the room, would you know it? No. Are you sure? I mean, as I said, it happens every once in a while. I get this knowing of some energy or something, as you said, angels are hanging. Like it, but it's it's not like an everyday occurrence or something like that, right? It happens rarely to me. Have you been lying in your bed and your the bed vibrates like you feel like it's ha you're having an earthquake? No, that's never happened. No, I'm wondering if it's because of those implants. Yeah, you receiving a like a key. You know, uh, something to open you up. Take time, but you might feel it coming in any minute. Right? Did you feel that? But if you block, you might not feel it. It'll, it'll open you up a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're a healer. I have this knowing in my heart. I do, but I just seems not to be able to but do anything are, with that. But you're you're a healer, and in past lives, you were a shaman. Mm -hmm. You're. You're like my husband and I. We have 12 indigenous elders that are with us at all times that from the stars. They're star people. Right. And they're always with us. We brought 12 with us from, they are all shamans. We brought them with us when in this life for this experience. Mm -hmm. And they're all, they're all shamans and they're, they're here on earth. And hopefully they're doing sham shamanic work now. Because we've met them all. We met them all in a, in a six month period after wow. we found out that we brought them here. Mm -hmm. But why cannot access of any of this information? Not access, but. Yeah, but you've got the key. The now. only one stopping you now is you. <laughs> yeah, you, you haven't got the implants, you've got a key. And remember, the input is in the back of your neck. So I've been being told you need to do some meditation, some frequency to lift your vibration. Yeah. Okay. So it's every, your job now. In yeah, we've done ours. Yeah. In every past life, you've been a healer of some sort. Every okay. one of them. Every one of them. Okay. Well, most this of them. Is your it can be thousands of lives. <laughs> yeah. I've been aware of other lifetimes. It's been different things, but <laughs> the healing uh, energy feels very strong in this lifetime. And it just seems that I'm trying so, so many ways to access it and open it and well, it, you've been blocked with the implants. It's been draining you, and it's been yeah, and yeah, they it's did that on purpose. And it's making you low vibration. Don't think of the past; think of the future. Yeah, so don't yeah, think what yeah. happened. You know, you've been blocked and everything. Think now that you you're the key to lifting your vibration. 
Now mm-hmm. you just trust that it's all going to yeah. open up and it's going to happen okay. really, 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 really quickly. So okay. don't be surprised. So Bye. let's let's close up the um, portals. The there, there's one in your, your bedroom, which I think you're in. Are you in your yeah. bedroom? Yes. Yeah. There's one next to the bed. The, not the that the side the, that side. So watch on. There's one the in a there's one in a bathroom. You're talking about portals. They're they're the po- portals that they came in to to put the implants. I so see. Okay. We want to close them. Mm-hmm. They're, they're not your portals. They're they're right. Portals. I you get have, it. You have your own portal, which we're not going to touch. Do you? Yes. Okay. We're just going to close their their Re- portals. Yeah. Remember, it's important frequency, meditation, music. If you mm-hmm. want to, you if you want to go up, you got to lift your vibration. And right. uh, something I say a lot: bless your food with love and water, and make sure you have half decent food. Uh, but uh, I don't. So. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. But blessing it, uh, it takes. What I do, if it's do you eat meat? Uh, yeah. Well, I do. I do. You're now the animal would have probably died not very well. So what I you do know. is, what you do is, you take its trauma. And you send it to source. So you mm-hmm. send it to source. So you're okay. healing the trauma from that animal. Then you're sending it love and you're, you're actually grateful and thanking it. And that is really blessing your food. Even though uh, I should be probably a vegetarian, but I'm not. So that's how yes. I do it. That was <laughs> so. my idea. So I tried for a couple of years, but... but um, most vegetarians have uh, substances. They, they have chemicals to, you know, they buy yeah. some supplements. So yeah. we're natural and meat eaters. We are natural and meat eaters. So it's very difficult to be all vegetarian. Yeah. So I understand that. Yeah. But blessing it is, is a way around, it, I suppose. Mm. I have to remind to do that because I'm aware of the blessing. I am definitely aware. I just don't remember to do it every single time. Try and program your mind to do it continually like like an automatic system right 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 one thing i, I do I, I don't have i do have pure water now that's one thing and i do have uh but i'm not recommending it because i'm not a doctor i have borax every day so uh and that alkalines your body so do i <laughs> yeah but i'm not recommending it. i'm not a doctor and you I don't know, know. I, yeah. I always, when i hear about stuff like that i always go do my research and if yeah, i get there was, someone, there was someone who said that they had borax, but they had a shot of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a tiny bit. <laughs> yes, so, yes, I get yeah. it. Or have, a, a, have it in the bath, I suppose. Have a borax bath. Oh, I see. Okay. I think then portals are gone now. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. So now Free the rest is up music. to you. Music. Music. Okay. That's- 11, 11 hertz. Mm-hmm. And when you listen to the uh, to the music, don't just go off. Try and visualize stuff in your mind. Try oh, and think of things. And sometimes it, it might end up being a video or something like that. And just let it flow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the frequency it's eleven eleven. You're saying? For yeah, eleven eleven is for the crown. It's like a connection with the angelics. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the the art chakra is about five or six hundred something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Go to the next one. Yes. Mute, Suzette, mute. Mute. Get a mute. Yo, good. The next one is Laurie's Cassie for her cat. Hi. Yeah, it's our cat, Paco. (laughs) We're just trying to catch him. (laughs) Paco is the cat. Hi, Paco. He's about... ah, 13 years. He just kicked me out. Oh. No, okay. you're in. You're still, you're still in. in. Still here. Where am I? Yeah, uh, I, I can see it. Uh, look at look at the bottom of your screen for the little blue circle. Right there. <laughs> okay. No, I lost it again. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> just look a bit. Face. He won't keep his paws off the computer. You see him? Oh, yeah. He's about 12 years old. He's lost about 10 pounds, if not more. And he started drinking a lot more water. And he has a limp, really bad limp in his back legs. Did he get hit by a car? No. No. He's He's an indoor cat. Hmm. Have a a look at his left eye. Can you move his face? 
to the camera. Hmm. He does so, have a something yeah. going on in his eyes that we can't. His right eye. Yeah, take him through that. Yeah. yeah the right. pets here in town won't take new pets. New plant. His right eye's got a little thing, a little black thing in it. Two. Yep. There's two in his, his right eye. Yeah. His left eye looks weird, but it's right. It's definitely got there's, something inside. The second one is new. Yeah, he always have a one, but there's one down here now. You can let him go. Okay. Does he need to stay in the general vicinity because he's not happy right now? <laughs> no, no. No, he's fine. You can let him out. He's going to feel it no matter where he is in the house. Okay. <laughs> The other did you guys I, I don't remember when when we did you guys before did you guys have any implants um uh, my husband did because your cat has implants he has a, a chip that, that the vet put in him yeah mm. for in case he got lost or something like that no i'm not talking about the chip we're talking about implants oh spiritual ones spiritual mm. implants yeah from the um not so nice beings yeah, we don't oh. know which one can be out of Yeah, he was about a year old before we got him. Grab Tawny. <laughs> Get Tawny, see if she's got one. Elsie's also having a kidney problem. Okay. Makes you wonder if it's from the implant. Uh, to... Pick up Tawny. He's trying to catch her. <laughs> Shake the treat bag. The tracker's on his hip. There's what on his hip? A tracker. Yeah. Tracker. And this is our second one who's just nuts. <laughs> Away from the doctor eyes. This this implant's a bit weird. It's like an AI one to connect it to that. It looks like a spring. A spring? It's usually they're like boxes or rectangles or this looks like a spring. It's it's connected to the AI people. Being sorry, not people. They're not even beings, are they? <laughs> this is our second little cat. Oh. She's gonna knock you out too if you're not careful. <laughs> And they're constantly together. Mm. So if one has a track or an implant, back in the box. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You settle down. We tried that with Paco. It didn't go well. All you saw was the toes. That one's pretty healthy. Oh, good. But also has implants. Oh. And how do we remove these? They do. Oh. No, we, okay. we, we uh... Is that why she's a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> she's not. Um, she only has one. And um, one tracker. She does not have as many as the other one. She only has one on her spine, on her back. Oh, and that's not the same as the chip? Because she's chipped too for if she gets lost? It's not the same as the chip. Okay. It's not even in the same location as the chip. Yeah, because the chip keeps moving around on her. <laughs> yeah. She, she, yeah. I think you I'm, getting, I'm getting she was a dog in the previous life. Oh. What this, was that? This one was a dog? I yeah. thought maybe she was a mouse in an eagle's story or something. She's so skinny. She was, she was a blue jay and a, and a robin. Oh, okay. That explains it because the, the least little noise and she runs. Uh, rabbit, that's what she yeah. <laughs> I just figured she was a little critter with an eagle overhead or something trying to catch her. She was a rabbit. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. That makes sense. The way she runs down the hall, she sounds like a rabbit hopping. Keeps it from sliding off. Yeah, I wonder if they could tell me anything about my freaking eyes. Your what? My eyes. Because huh? that certainly isn't a normal situation. Yeah. You put me in. Please. Does he have a tracker too? Mm -hmm. I can live with the pain. It's my eyes that are problematic. Well, if they have time, maybe they'll look at your eyes. Because my next step would be surgery. Are you done, Phil? Yeah. The AIs are gone, or EIs, whatever they are. They connected to them, they're not. The implants. Uh, go on, do you want two cards? I don't know if it's for you or the animals. Just say stop. Cards? Yeah, just say stop. Oh, stop. Here, here. Mm. Ooh, you need an holiday and you need to surrender any of your trauma. So, a nice holiday retreat, have a break from your journey, and any pain, anger, or anything that you, anybody you don't like, uh, forgive them, forget, love them, love yourself. You know what I mean? Surrender and forget. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Could you do a quick scan on our daughter? Her eyes are going on her and they tell her that she needs surgery on it because they're getting so bad. She's right yeah, here. We can, yeah, we can when um, when we're done with all the animals. We're, we're doing yeah, the, the, the only thing is, it, is it connected to the implants? I don't know. It's funny how they're her, eyes, they're her uh, cats. Yeah, it's funny how yeah. her eyes are 
go in as well. You feel tired a lot. Actually, no. I'm emotionally oh. tired, but not physically. Mm. And can you look towards the light and um, look at, look? Well, I, I'm just trying to get light in your eyes because your eyes are in shadow. Light in my eyes? Yeah, but, but look at us. I'm just trying to get some light. Yeah, just look up a little bit. <laughs> They're trying to find a flashlight or something. <laughs> yeah, just look up. It's okay. Oh. Ah, does that help? <laughs> <laughs> she's uh she's got implants I, i'm not 100 percent they are there's something going on <laughs> what'd you say phil so, i'm not sure if they fully they're like an attachment quite dark as her, well her um implants don't seem to be active Did, is that the one because you you took care of the ones in the animals i think it's like an attachment so something links to a if you get what i mean like a dark dark uh, energy uh, that's clear isn't it? I'm going to be seeing spots for a while <laughs> and, you know, dual vision. Do you feel pressure behind your eyes? Sometimes. I think the issue with my eyes is I see two of everything past a point. Like there's prisms in my glasses to realign my vision. What kind of surgery were they going to do? It would be on the muscles in the eyes to realign them. They said it's akin to a lazy eye, but it started six years ago. You can actually see something in behind your <laughs> What were they talking about where they can't see it because this is a spiritual attachment? Okay. Where did it come from, Phil? Feels dark to me. Yeah. Does it come from her past or did it come from, it has anything to do with the um, attachments? Do, do you know, I'm not joking here, Deb. I was thinking, is this a past life? That's what I I'm thinking. Like, that's what I was thinking. I was trying to, trying to trace it. It's hard to trace. I'm getting um, a husband from a past life. Okay. Is the name Phil? Oh. <laughs> I know. Still, could be named Phil. Could be a carryover thing. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> My first husband was named Phil. It didn't end well. <laughs> no, the pain I can live with, but my eyes are concerning. <sighs> Darian? His name's Darian. Does he need to keep shining this light in my eyes? No, no, no. no. no, no. <laughs> Fine. Sorry. Sorry. He just said, my name is Darian the Dark. <laughs> it's just what he said to me. And I'm never leaving. She belongs to me. I control her. I'll always control her. Sounds I got like a news flash for him. No, you don't. <laughs> I do like my own thing. He's Have creating... you ever had dreams? Have you ever had nightmares? All the time. <clears throat> it's because of him. It was he's always creating... a reoccurring one. He's, he's, I'm sure he's do, affecting your eyes deliberately. Oh, he's not okay. just there, he's there deliberately affecting you. I see you can't see anyone. How do we get rid of this? He's telling me you can't. Yes. Yes. No, we can't. We can't. He's saying you can't. <laughs> you can't get rid of him? No, he's yeah, yeah, just, he's yeah. telling he's telling me that you can't, but to, yes, we can. That's good. Would that be akin to the voices I hear? Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that definitely would be. What what did he say? Uh not. It, I've heard conversations, people talking about songs and things. It's like I'm hearing complete conversations and I'm generally by myself. <laughs> this is probably the past life coming out. Oh, I don't know 100% because I wouldn't know. Let me guess, this guy caused the whole stomach issue too, right? Possibly. You were just married. Maybe he was trying to separate you. Mm. Maybe this is why you were told that you had two souls. Maybe. You don't That's have two souls. No, no, hold on, hold on. You might be two souls in you. One yours and one is. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you have got two souls. It's just that one shouldn't be there. Right. One's not yours. You that would explain a lot. You personally only have one. You're just carrying the other one. <laughs> well, he can leave anytime. I'm going to have to change my shirt before I make dinner. And I'll be eating part of the pants. Now I'm tired. Who's there? I see Phil there. Who are you, who are you working with, Phil? Because I'm, okay, I've got help. That's yeah, because I'm daring him to make that little pilot light in his heart bigger. I did, told him he couldn't do it. I'm trying to make it. Look, I'm we, we're sorting out love for him. I've looked at his timeline as well a little bit. All he has to do is make that. He'll change. He need to take them away from their pets. Hmm? Yeah, I think he's gone. With that. Yes, he is. He did. Mm -hmm. He's doing. He's 
he's gone. Yeah. Yeah. I gave him a choice. He didn't want to go downstairs. He wanted to go upstairs. He's gone? Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. He's gone. So my eyes are going to get better? You should feel different. I feel tired. <laughs> no. Okay. We're, we need to fill in that space that he took up. So just let this do some healing now. I feel tired and kind of relieved. It's weird. Hey, my boy. Come here. Hey, my baby boy. Mm. He feels different. Of course he does. He's heels. Do you feel any pressure or any warmth in your head? A little bit right there. That's mm. that's a good thing. Mm. You a happy boy now? Okay. We a happy boy. Yes. Mm. We'll start giving him colloidal silver then. That might help his kidneys. You want to give her a card, Phil? Yeah. Hmm? He's going to do tarot cards for me. Oh. Say stop. Say stop. When you want to what? Say stop when you want them to stop. Okay. Say it. Did stop. He's shuffling the cards. Okay. Yeah. So it, one is divine timing. Uh, divine timing. Follow your intuition, especially in the dreams that you're probably going to get soon. And the other one's miracles. You may feel you need a miracle. God will show you the path. Source will show you the path. Okay. Um, that so explains that's why, the current situation. Yeah, that's probably why you. <laughs> So. No, I got, uh, I was asking for a sign in my reality and I got fired from my job yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's the, a sign. No, it, it's actually a good thing because it was a toxic environment. So it was the universe's way of saying you need to move on. You need to do something else. Yeah. Definitely. So, yeah. Okay. Where you're supposed to be will be the, what, what happens next. So just let your guides know to find your joy. I try to stay happy. I try to stay positive. Well, you know, no, by finding your joy is what you're supposed to be doing for work. And, and that's, and they'll do that for you. Okay. I will stay open-minded, follow my heart. Mm. My boy, he ain't the same cat. <laughs> okay. Say thank you. Hmm? Say thank, you. thank you. You're, you're welcome. welcome. Okay. 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 So we will go to the next cat, Oliver. Suset, the next cat, your cat. Okay. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I see that. Okay. yeah. okay. Um, I wanted to see if Oliver has a tracker device. He has a microchip. Um, I got reimplanted this week. And uh, now that I understand what you guys are doing, maybe it's because of the cat. Do you, can you bring him to the camera? Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> This cat can astral travel through walls and uh, he is definitely a light worker. He hears when the astral beings come in. He lets me know. I believe it. A lot of cats are very special. Mm -hmm. Ollie. 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 Is that his name? Oh, <laughs> oh beautiful eyes. He is a really special cat. Mm -hmm. I had all his teeth removed and he's got an ear issue. That bothers him all the time. Oh, check. Okay. Do you still need me to hold him? No, it's all right. Okay. Why? Why did he? Have, did he have a vi uh, that cat virus in his gums? I don't know what was happening, but all his teeth were, were just rotting out of his mouth, yeah. probably because of the cat food. Yeah, but the the, the have viruses, don't they? Yeah. Is it, what's the word? Like an infection, you can't get rid of. Uh, ah. That's why the teeth come out. Okay. He's much better now. <laughs> Oh. Okay. I don't see any in him. You don't see anything? Not in him, but I saw, I mean, I saw his, uh, his microchip, his ear. Um, he's got some ear mites. Ah, Coconut oil, Ooh. rub it in the ear, massage okay. it in. You don't have to put a lot. Just make sure you massage it down in his ears okay. and do that a little bit in each ear every day. And eventually they'll just go because that's a natural okay. antibiotic and they it, they can't survive with the, the coconut oil. Okay. And um, you have to do it to both because they'll both end up with it. Will the dog too? Mm, it won't hurt the dog. So you might as well do some in the dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see this guy's eyes. This one is Sissy. She has a something growing right here on her chin. It looks like a cyst. Or a, a or a um, little and uh, my our cat had one too. It doesn't do anything. It, mm -hmm. it just seems to be getting bigger lately. 
Yeah, yeah, we had a cat that gets it got the same thing, and it it got to a certain point and then stayed there for years and years and years, and then all of a sudden it got huge, and uh-huh. it's still, it's nothing. It is nothing. I don't know why some cats get them. Um, our cat ha- lived till he was twenty. And he just uh-huh. one of the ones we just lost, and th- there was nothing. I mean, it just it's nothing. It's just like a growth. a growth. Okay, some cats okay. get them and some don't. It's not oh. cancer. She had a broken leg, a severely broken leg, oh, almost two years ago now. She has a pin in the leg to hold it together because it was so severe. They wanted to cut off the leg. Um, and I can't afford now to get the pin out. Um, uh, do you guys need to look at the dog too? Let's, let's work on the cats. Does a pin need to come out? It has to be taken out. But she said that if, if, it, if I leave it in, that it's not going to hurt her. She just can't grip to get to pull herself out, and she can't. I'm worried that she's going to get hurt because she can't move the arm. It's locked in place. How old is she? Uh about eleven or twelve now. That's still young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she doesn't show any signs of pain or anything now. Can we? We can dissolve that metal, can't we? Dissolve the pin. Where does it go? <laughs> I don't know if I can. Let's have a look. I don't know. Okay. It's got to go somewhere. It can dissolve it, but it, it won't just disappear. Oh. Then again, could it? Yeah, I don't want it to be um, in our system, though. Mm. We'll have a go. You know, Deb, I've always said nothing's impossible, but you are testing our boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> I just want, I just look at it and just make it disappear. I like would erase, be able to tell like it, it. That would really freak out the vet. <laughs> I healed three teeth, and that my and my dentist freaked out. <laughs> See, nothing's impossible. Oh yeah. I, I I once healed a person's broken leg in two places, and the doctors just didn't believe the X-ray because where the break was, there was a little line, scar tissue gone, and that was two weeks after. It, <laughs> the, it just completely confused him. He he was laughing. I, I actually have an help from one of my uh, team, and he's a Peruvian. Uh, he's about seven foot in blue that he's going out with. What was that, Phil? I've got a, on my, my healing team is a Pradian, and um, Pradian, I can't even say it right, Pradian, you know what I mean. Palladian. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Uh, blue one, <laughs> and he's going to help me with it. Oh, good. They're massive, these uh, Pradians. All right, I'm done, Deb, are you still there? I don't know. <laughs> it okay. may be, may not be. So. Well, the way her arm moves, I should be able to tell. So yeah. I'll start paying attention to it. And if not, okay. we'll have you look again next week. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Now, do you guys want to look at the dog too? Again? Yeah. Okay. Zina. I'm not sure how I can get her in. Here's Zina. Good girl. Oh, she's liking that. She gets kisses. <laughs> yeah. I don't usually let her get that close. <laughs> what was her name? Zena, mm. Princess Warrior. Yep. She's a big sissy. <laughs> Good girl. Okay. Go. Dogs love her. <laughs> Able to get anything like that. She doesn't have any implants or anything. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good art. Ah, shines. So, okay. Okay. Now, me, guys, you ready for me? No, oh. not yet. I have you in the list, Suzette. I have what? you in the list. I have but you. We do the... humans at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Unless oh, it's serious. Yeah. yeah just in. Yeah. Animals and then humans after. If it's uh, serious, where we think is a connection with the animal and human, we, we then do that as a one-off. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. We'll come back to you. Thank uh-huh. you. We will. You're welcome. So we go now to the next one because all the animals are furtish, uh, are is finished. Sorry, my German <laughs> finish. And we go to Victoria. Okay. Can I the animals are finished? Can I just take a quick bathroom break? Okay. Is, it, is this a five minute break? <laughs> I, have, I have to go potty. <laughs> can, can I just go to the chipper? I'm joking. Rick, can you move the chair back a little? Ma- Maggie, you're not going to request for healing? Of course, my God. Yeah, you did not write. I asked you, you did not answer. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, I was I'll write you down. thinking to do it and I forgot. <laughs> okay. Thank you. How are you, Phil? I'm great, thanks. Thank you. And how are you, Lily? You know, so, Maggie, this afternoon I did four hours even get a, a, a school fate. I got here at <laughs> R5, R4, and then started eating again. 
<laughs> a long day, long day. Wow. Uh, Guys, it started at uh, six o'clock, yes? Six o'clock in Malta. For you, it was five o'clock. Five o'clock, yeah. Mm. Uh, my internet today is quite weak. It was difficult to get in. And all the time, my picture also disappear here from us, from the Zoom. I don't know what's going on. But everything is great. Is he in Malta? Yeah. Okay, I will call you back later, Maggie. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Anytime I will be right here. I don't go nowhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, Victoria, what is done? Yes, thank you. Sorry, thank you. Victoria. I'm picking up a portal in you. Portal in me. No wonder. Did you open a portal? Huh? Did you open a portal inside yourself? Not that I know of. Might be when you were trying to connect. You said you've been trying to connect to higher beings, haven't you? Well, I was open to expansion and I told my higher self and everybody. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they might be trying to come through more, you know, easier that way, you know? I don't know. It's like a big mirror and I can see the mirror expanding out, like and all these mirrors opening up behind it. Mirror. So it's to me that's like a portal, but it's in your head and it's like this mirror you might be seeing into the um what do you call that that um um i forgot what how i don't know how to say it um will have access to my soul's um memory akash the windows why would know? i why would they show me that I, why would i i'm asking i'm not i'm i'm speaking out loud because i'm asking a question why are you showing me this there's an error there's a problem like a glitch there's something wrong it shouldn't be there, right? Because I see, I usually see it outside. If, if the yeah, it shouldn't be inside you. It's normally uh, to get access to Akashic, you know, only going to mm -hmm. the higher chakras. Yes, you get into the higher chakras, and you, I, I, I see yeah. those, yeah. I see those portals open all the time, but they're usually outside. I don't know why it's inside. Somebody placed it inside. Why? Why is it placed inside though? Someone did it. Who? Who would have done it? And who could have touched my Akash to put it in? Somebody who has access. Who else will have access to my kosh other than, hmm. Or your aspects of. Well, I would imagine so. My my higher aspects would have done it, right? No. The lower aspect even? Somebody, be. somebody who has as access to it that is close to you. Physically, you mean, or spiritual? Spiritually. I lately have been connected with different ones, different beings. One of your twin beings. Dex's higher self. Not a higher self. It's Dex then. Is that good or bad though? It's, I don't think it's good because they're showing me it. It's not a good thing. So he's trying to tap into my Akash. I'm I'm, mer I'm merged with him because he's my twin. You shouldn't no, have to. You, you, you should have never. Him. Yeah, you should never merge with anyone, any being, even your own aspects. Partially merge, but you take control. But uh, to actually have someone in, it's. It's a bit like giving your bank account away. You don't mm -hmm. <laughs> details. You just don't. It's not necessary to merge with an with a twin flame. No, at all. It's like a mirror, the twin flame. So when so so you're why, giving your power away when you merge. Why? Why would he? How did he even open? Like like because you merged. No, does he even know what he's doing when he's doing this? He might not. Does it? It doesn't matter. You because you've given your power away when you do that. So he can now tap into my kosh because he's never done this before, um, opening a portal within me. Yeah, the mirrors like, seem strange. I wonder if your higher self is blocking him, possibly, or you, you're blocking him, but he's, he's you've gave him access. It's like a it's like having a virus in your system and trying to stop him taking all your assets, all your power, uh, if you get that. So I know that our higher selves are blocking us because he still has some healing to do but um this is quite a shocker for me so it's in my brain you said in that area it's in your head it's in my head i can see it inside your head so it's probably part of your brain you see i notice that there's more things here but um how do, how do you reverse what she's how do how do you reverse what she's done though? i don't know i don't know what to... Qu question is why did he do it? You're saying he physically did it and not and not his higher self? Well, the, that's the message I'm getting is he did it, not the higher self. This was something that was done. 
but it might be his shadow. You don't know if it's him or his shadow. You know, we have a shadow self inside us. We we don't know because how we're going to find out? We just don't know. So the question you're asking, we don't know. This is the thing. This is the thing. Um, he's at, he was at the crossroad and he needed to pass that crossroad where all the nomads are in order for him to catch up to me. And if he did cross that crossroad, then he will open up. He would be merging back. Our soul aspects would be merging back to one. And all that aspects, the, the kosh should be coming back together because we are merging. The thing is, it might not be that bad. But I don't, think, I, I don't think we can reverse it. I, I, once you let someone in, it's, you know, it's very impossible. He might be doing it for good intentions. We don't know. We really don't know. Yeah. I don't. He has never actually really harmed, harmed me. You know that. It's, it's, it's his group. And he yeah, had... but it, it's what takes over him. If someone takes over him, then they can connect to you. Yeah. And, and, and what happened was the um recently he has he has grown a lot and he has made those um made a lot of changes and cut certain connections away he, if he was at the crossroad and connecting back into a higher higher frequency i feel that's what he's doing i don't feel that he would do anything to hurt me i really don't feel he would i i think we just give you healing and just stuff Cross your fingers. But but one thing though, one thing though, mm. one thing though. You know, I've been I went through another, I was charged electrically. And that and I don't know, those few days I was charged up and I was creating thunder sparks. You know, literally a thunder being appeared in the sky. And I, I'm wondering if if I created that to help balance the to take care of the 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 charges that came through that was imbalanced on the earth because I am I am Pink Terra. But one thing is, when that happened, it really hurt me. From my root chakra, I was fried so hard for, for days. I was fried so hard. And, and he had a boost from all the energy that I was coming in with. And also the galactics were bringing in energy from source directly and bringing it into me as well. When that happened, he had an upgrade. and he, But he's still dealing with the ego death. You understand what I'm saying? He's still dealing with that ego. But I'm pretty sure um, during this period of time, uh, he has grown, if you know what I mean, in a higher vibration. So he's probably able to tap into the Akash now. And because we are one, we're one soul, he has access to that. Mm. You understand what I mean? Yes. Just like I have access to his Akash, and sometimes I go in there and do things, you know, but I do things to help them. But but what I'm trying to talk about now is... Yeah, at at, the, at the end of the day, Victor, we, 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 we can't do anything. So hopefully mm -hmm. you've, you've chosen wisely. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't I, know. Mm -hmm. Well, if anything, if, if it was really, really bad, I guess you can say I could always have it removed. Oh. The higher up will do it. <laughs> I've done that before. No, I, you're taking a chance. I just hope everything's going to be okay. It makes but, sense. Yeah, but one thing I want to say is like I wanted healing on on, on like on my body because something happened. You know, in November I was under you know I got fried again really hard, and that's where the cyst happened in that uh, utopian like the, the 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 tube area, and it was really painful. Well, it always seems to happen during the time right after my my period comes, it gets worse. It, it, then it went, got big. Well, something happened after I got fried from the electricity and the thunder sparks. I felt that there was a lump on me somewhere. And then my period came, like just literally after the session last week. And it was really painful. It traveled around, like literally traveled around my abdomen, sacral root, solar plexus. And it, it was, what, travel pain or lump? But the thing is that the pain was traveling from back, sideways, front, in the sacral. Yeah, pain, pain, that doesn't make sense. Pain traveling sounds like a parasite, a spiritual parasite, to actually so, move through your nervous system. Because I had, once again, after the healing sessions, things always seem to happen after the healing sessions. I looked at my arm and there was this um, imprint of something that looks almost like a bug. 
but regardless, it's not in my system right now. But the but this but the pain was so was so hard. This harsh. this this might be coming from the person that you merged with. I if, think if you I'm, merged, if you merge with, if he's got anything, they can travel to you. I think what happened is he is always under attack. He's placed mm. there for a reason. If he's always in under attack, you can be attacked as well. Yes, because I understand you. that. Yeah, he is. He is one of the one forty-four. He will get through this right. somehow. He will. We'll, we'll send you some healing. My my point is, do you guys see? I almost felt like there was another cyst growing. Okay, well, in the root area, the sacral area, the pain was like like before. It was so unbearable, but I don't have pain now. It seemed to have healed yesterday for some reason. Maybe last night it's it, it began. They, they're hiding it. They, they say they wait until after we are done here, and then they it's they're controlling it. I can tell you that right now they're controlling the. So after the healing session tomorrow, you, you're going to get something back again. They're controlling it. Last night, up until last night, uh, this morning I was feeling better before the healing session. Last night. But it, because, but it it's because of the healing session. The intelligence, uh, they know. If you have pain now, we're going to get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how do I deal with this parasite thing? Why is it so smart? Is it an AI type of parasite or what? Uh, most of it's parasites are quite intelligent, especially if it's more than one. But let, let's see what we can do. Send you some healing and do a cleanse. You might get warm. Program your brain to be high when you've got pain. Get the fever in. Fever destroys any parasites for I think 10 minutes. I, yeah, I think I got, I got some fever because throughout the period, my my back and was feeling a little sweaty. If you know mm. what I mean, there was a temperature. Like the temperature they can't live in it they can't live in that, in that environment that's you're burning them out basically right, okay. i mean when it comes to the actual merging there's nothing i can do with the with the akash because if we are going together ascending together as one soul me and him are reunited it's going to happen so we just have to work through this until he reaches christ christ christ's state i think i right, was sending you healing you should feel it now when you guys were looking at Bobby, did you guys notice that he has a lot of mucus on his throat? Yeah. Just relax. We're sending you healing. I'm talking Thanks. about you now. Yeah. Yeah. Pats, Pats is closed. <laughs> <laughs> I was meaning to ask you guys to clear his throat at some because he, he's really quite bothered by it, it seems. Yeah, we, we gave him healing. So that would have been sure that. That's done already because he's still giving that choking coughing sniffling yeah. thing it takes 24 hours for him to show the healing so so yeah. there's no portal there's no portal in the house just in me yes relax except the healing <laughs> <laughs> thank you <sighs> well um i did say i wanted to expand and i wanted to continue with my path and move forward because there are so many have things. You, have you got an off button so you can relax <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> Just close your eyes, except the healing. Yeah. Am Remember, I you, even if you're just putting it to me. Yeah, it's very difficult because you you don't stop talking. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So it's a distraction. So you're I'm asking, you're asking us questions while we're trying to heal you. <laughs> right, right, right. Did you feel that? You can talk now. <laughs> um, it, not really. Didn't feel so, much. Some it was removed actually. Some what, it did what? leave. Some it was shifted. I don't know where it was. Something was shifted. Something got burnt out. Yeah, I was using platinum ray, and I saw I saw something happen. Because yeah. I did notice something was in me, but I just thought it was because I was healing Bobby so much, and I was taking in all all the problems he had. So I was pretty miserable having to take in all his problems. That really bad period, um, peri menopause time, I guess mm. I would imagine. And um, what else was it? And that, and I wasn't recovered from that frying. Mm. There were, I felt, almost felt like maybe there was a cyst there or something going on because there, there was a lump there. I don't know if you are able to scan, scan and see the lump. It's gone. Mm. Interesting. So, some it, some it got fried anyway. Some it was removed during the evening. There. I don't know what so, it was. I didn't. So, so the frying did that, and not. Yeah. What I'm thinking is when when he opened up 
when we merged that time for the higher aspects coming in for both of us merging, I know I've been taking on, we, be, we help each other. We, we, we take on each other's energy and, and we're sharing each other's light and stuff. And he has, you know, problems with that, but he's doing better. So I figured that these things might actually be him. So these, do you think these pains that I'm having with the, the cysts and the massive pain that keeps shifting back and forth, it just hurts a lot? Is that coming from him or is like like him doing something or is it like a parasite or something else? Could you I, think something? I think it's a bit of both. Parasite from him. Yeah. A parasite from him. Yeah. And I think when you go lightning, I think that's trying to shift. I think you keep on. I think you've let him in for a while. Yeah. I don't I, think it's I, very I, recent. I, mm. I okay. Because I have a, a video of the lightning beam. Mm. And that lightning beam appeared after I got charged up so badly. So I have, I'm beginning to think since I am... I'm, I'm, I'm also Terra, taking on the aspect embodying Terra. That being, that thunder being, was created by me and him, if you know what I mean. Mm. Our merging. Or, or he's connected with you both. Yeah, because he's our as, higher aspect or something, you know? Mm. Mm. But it, it, it should help you. It should clear you a bit as well. So you've probably been getting these parasites now and again. And it, that lightning would... would almost certainly destroy anything like that well that lightning happened before the parasite came and i was really really fried up like i was yeah it probably cleaned your bed uh you probably need that every now and again <laughs> oh, no no not like that it's like it's like you know my hair was falling off like crazy and i already have so little because it was just like that being i was being electrocuted for for a number of days okay we need to move in let's go i've had um sent out my my paypal for both of you thank you oh, thank you thank you, thank nice you for helping me and bobby yeah. thank, thank you, you so much kindness. love you guys love, love you too honey. Uh, thanks for the donation it's very kind thank you thank you so we will go to the next one linda linda about your three kids can you explain they have stomach flu i think i i will uh, tell what's happened this week but first of all uh, it pops up in me that I will say this, so I will do. Uh, it's with my daughter. She was cutting her toenail, and it ends with an ingrown uh, toenails, so she has inflammation. And she has this now, I think we are in four or five weeks. I start to, um, yeah, first of all, I do healing on the toe and everything. And then I treat her with tea tree oil. Uh, but after so many weeks, I go to pharmacy and, and get some cream. I don't know, maybe it's little antibiotic inside, but uh, it's not better. So <sighs> I'm, I'm very worried about this toe and why it doesn't heal. Is she there? Uh, she's in the bed, but I can take her here if you want to How see her. How old is she? She is 12 now in May. Do you have a picture of her? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but not like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the picture I have here, she is um, joking with my glasses. <laughs> All right. but, but I can get her because I told her that I will speak to you if, if we have time. So okay. do you want me to get her? Yes. Okay, I do that. Okay. Uh, she falls asleep. You, you don't have to put put your phone there and put a bright light in the house and wake her up. <laughs> yeah, no, but sorry, she falls asleep. Uh, the mm. clock is 10 here now. But uh, just so you know, little, sorry. <laughs> but that, she doesn't, broken... she, she doesn't has uh, glasses, glasses, but she has ginger Are they, your, your, are they yours? <laughs> yeah. And white with freckles and she's not had the pond juice, has she? What's Linda. She's not had the pond juice. None of your kids have had the pond juice, have they? I don't understand you. <laughs> the, the thing in the arm. The thing in the arm. <laughs> the thing in the arm. <laughs> but you know, for that for that flu that went around. Lollipop. The lollipop Lolli in the arm. Yeah, lollipop the kids, in the, the arm. Kid, 
We can't we can't say the word or else YouTube will block us. Ah. Ah. Ah, okay. No, none of us had these lollipops yeah. in the okay, arms. Okay, <laughs> good. good, good. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I have been awake many years, so my children doesn't get anything. Mm -hmm. Not single one of nothing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to make sure beforehand because, um. okay, can you bring up the picture again? Yes, yeah, sorry. That's all right. No, no, no. No, no lollipop. Eh. No. What's her name? Yolene. 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 Yes. Yolene. Okay. Yolene. Hmm, she's an angel. Yes. I have heard that before, actually. <laughs> yes. And uh, also the, the woman who told me this, she said, she really loves you. Really, really loves you. Yes. She's, um, she chose you. Oh. So I can protect her, isn't she? She's your protector. That's unusual. Mm -hmm. Her angel name is Josefina. Josefina. <laughs> oh, it's it's on the J. Jolene Josefina. Oh. Josefina. Oh, I'm happy to hear. You need to pick her up still. I'm trying hmm? to get information on her. Hmm? I'm trying to get information on anything else. Hmm? Do you know what I'm getting, Deb? What? I'm getting it's a faulty tracker. It's not working. It's a faulty tracker. I think they tried to get her, but there's nothing. I can't do it. Yeah, she's got something in her spine, too. It's not working. Spine. What is spine? It's on, spine. in the back. The back. No? Uh, yes, back, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, ha that. she has that. She has um, uh, telling me that it's little hurting with the back. But I have done uh, lots of session on her with body code and uh, emotion code. And uh, they have removed implants. And also, I don't remember, but it was something with her back. And um, also, since we moved here to this island, she has also been so sick all the time. And that's also something I, I wonder about. Is it a test now, the first year in a new country? Or, uh, you know. Um, and what, what, also, what country are you at? Sorry. Yeah, right. Cy Cyprus, Cyprus, Cyprus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and also uh, when we lived in Sweden, both me and Jolene was very sensitive to, I don't know the English name, but uh, when everything is flower in the nature, you get this uh, in, spring. Spring. yeah, spring. pollen, uh, yeah, so this I also took a session on instead of, you know, go with herbal medicine all the time. Uh, but now she's, she, uh, we both feel feel it little here again. So I, I was saying to her, maybe we are a little low in our energies. I don't know. But I, I was also thinking that we have cleared this in, in our body. I, I think getting used to the energy from moving as well. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's we, we're mm. trying to, yeah, the, you've got two. You've got a tracker and an implant uh, not working and... Uh, and I think the tracker got damaged. Uh, so I'm going to try and do some of that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, when she does, you do, you, you practice Reiki? Are you certified? I'm not, but uh, I, I do, um, I do healing with my hands and the you chakra do this, and everything. Do you, do you do the symbols? I don't do symbols, no. Good, good. Good, don't do that. I, I only do like this. I'm spinning, spinning around. Uh, up here and this side and also from back. That's um, fine. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The symbols. The symbols are on. Um, no, I, I don't know the symbols. You, you're giving the power to them, basically. You use your own power. Yeah. yeah. You, you don't, don't need to give power to symbols. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Don't do the symbols because Philip discovered no. they're they're bad. They can oh. be. Not all. But you, you're giving oh. your power. You've got the power inside to do more than uh, Reiki. Reiki. Ah, yeah. okay. I don't Spiritual know. Healing. You are a healer. You are a healer. Yeah, David told me this. I am, and I have been before, and I will work it with it. it when who's I'm David? Who's I David? don't know. <laughs> he, he's a weird guy. I think from Canada or something. I I don't know. He, he's learning a lot of me anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> he won't go in here, so I'll be okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, he actually told me, uh, you you have this inside you, and yeah. if you want, you will work yeah. with it with this. Yeah, yeah, yes, you yeah. are our shaman. Yes, definitely. Yay! See you in future. <laughs> oh. No, I, I, I don't know anything and, and I don't go so deep in, in things and my spirit, yeah, my spiritual. You, are, you will be guided and you, 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 you don't have to take courses. You don't have to, your guides and your angels will show you how to do the healings. You'll get the messages. They will teach you themselves. There's no school that can teach you this. Mm. Have you spoke with David before session today? Uh, no. <laughs> About me. no. no. We, were, we were taught the same no. way. Yeah. Oh, I get the God. messages right from creator creator t- oh. talks to me and he tells me exactly oh. how to do things we didn't I know get how to so do happy. this mm, I get so happy yeah every you'll, you'll be taught everything you'll be guided all along the people will come to you that, oh. need, that need it and it'll always be the same stuff at first and so once you learn oh. and new things will come they, they guide you along oh always so trust nice. messages once you trust the messages that you get, yeah, more and more will come. It'll come fast and furious. And then you learn. Just always trust every message you get. And it'll always be something you understand. And it won't, it'll be stuff that you would never think of. So you know oh. that you're channeling it. Okay. Oh, I get so happy because also he said that, um, Linda, you are a physical healer. I mean, you can take away fever and stuff. And, and I said, yeah. <laughs> so well, yeah, what, is- what I'm being told is yeah. test it. Go higher. Get higher vibrations into you. Test it. Yeah. Don't stay uh, where you are and do it. Go higher. Channel higher vibrations. Yeah. And do a bit more every time. Yeah. What what do you mean now? I don't understand. Right. What what? How do you heal at the moment? How you? How how do you, how heal, do you heal at the moment? Yeah. How, how you I'm, uh, You mean um, I, I do every day take down the golden light and I do it with my hands and I take up the rainbow and I do the protection with the. Uh, if you were healing your daughter, how would you do it? Ah, okay. Uh, I just go into myself. Maybe I start with this to get the energy. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, first of all, I do the protection up and down and safe and everything for her and me. And then I I, I don't think so much. I just doing like uh, last time she was sick, not this week, uh, other time. She was on the bed and I was going around and I, I was seeing that I spinning the um, different chakra all her body and she but what what she, you could do when you go into each chakra you can do yeah. the arm for that chakra so when you're doing ah. say um mm-hmm. and going over that chakra and then you could do it in a figure of eight to the next one and you could do the mm-hmm. other arm so you'll have to google which arms I think the crown has three uh so it's up to you which one you pick so as okay. you, you you're balancing you're tuning up the chakras and you're doing mm. the arm for each chakra. Yeah. Oh. But but yeah, also you, you can bring in higher energies using the pillar of light from each dimension. So you could yeah, pillar be bring like in, mean. Yeah, you mm. could be bringing the uh, galactic chakras, or you could be bringing what I like, the 22nd chakra, which is Christ consciousness. And you bring it into you and into the, the, an aim for the planet that needs it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, my I, daughter, that's my tip she... of the day. My tip of the day. Uh, okay. Yeah, because she really said to me, Mama, I feel when you do something with me or mm-hmm. when i teaching her something. I said, take the golden light in and clear with purple flame and this and this. And she said, yeah, it's really working. Mm-hmm. So we had a very good connection with this deeper thing. Uh, how I do it on here, I take the energy that's creating the problem into me and grounding it. So it's a quick, oh. so I, I'm not just, I'm channeling the light coming in and then I'm bringing the negativity out and then grounding it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I will. Hmm. But I, this, I, I'll, I'll let you yeah. speak now, Deb. <laughs> yeah. So, no, the, so this, the, yeah. The, um, the implants have been removed from your daughter and then healing has been sent to her and given to her. So she should, it, it should go away on its own now 
Oh, thank you. So she did had it again in the spine. It, it was well. They, well. Uh, they, they never went away. It was just that they were not working and they were just okay. sitting there, you know, causing problems with, in her body, physical body. Oh, I, I get so tired of this everything attack because I don't know how much my three kids are attacked and how many sessions I paid to take it away. And I said, I'm so fed up now. And now next week I will do a T3 on my middle son because we really need to go really, really deep to really close every portal to get him. Mm. So, yeah, I don't know. I think, I, very think, uh, I think lifting vibration to all you family is probably needed. You might okay. be in a very low vibrational place. How old is your mm. son? Uh, my smallest, uh, he will be five. And the middle I talk about, which is T3 therapy. Yeah. Uh, he will be 10 now in April. They're awfully young to be going through this. Um, Epsom salts baths, baths are um, better than tea tree oil. What do you say? Epsom salts. Epsom salts. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's better than tea tree. Oh, thank you. Another okay. one, borax bath. Borax mm -hmm. is another. A bath, borax bath room. 20, 20 mule team, bor bor team added with the uh, Epsom salts. Okay. okay. Just, just, a just a tablespoon? Tablespoon, yeah. Of the, of the borax mm. with the Epsom okay. salts in the bath water. But do you have their pictures, your sons? Uh, it's so typical. I took all my pictures in this. Uh, on your computer? Yeah, but not in this computer because I have it on uh, what uh, the thing you plug in. Uh, like a disc. Yeah. No, the only... Yeah, yeah. It's not a good... This is from yesterday. This is with the ginger hair. It's uh, it's Tian. He will turn 10 year now. Uh, he is very spiritual. And can also you, he's... Uh, a, can you make it bigger? Yeah. And he's a crystal child, they told me. Oh. And very ma magic, or yeah, they say he's very spiritual. He gets very much attack, and I have much problem with him and the dark side. Yeah, they want him, don't they? They want him on their side. They sure do. Remember, when, when you're this age, you can pick the side that you're on. Oh. Even if you're a crystal child, you can still, you still mm. be dark. And me and he, Tian, we are very connect, connected. And one spiritual person told me that we have lived uh, seven years together before, uh, seven lives together before. And immediately when he is attacked, I can feel it. And I also see it in his eyes. There's something, there's something in, behind his eyes. Mm. There's something on the bottom of his spine. Also? Yeah. There's something in his right ankle, not on his foot, on his ankle. It's only two weeks ago uh, the, uh, since I had a session again and cle clear him. And then we decided to do T3 next week. They're the invisible ones. Draco was. Oh, When they were, what is his name again? Tian. T H I A N. Thank you. Thank you. You don't, you don't need to hold it up. Yeah, we've got okay. him. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm showing an AI presence. So mm, yeah. very manipulative. Going to I think that's just a front, definitely off planet, but it's like a they're trying to put you put put you off thinking it's just AI. It's not just AI. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm getting a headache. Hey, hey, queen. Come down. Come, down. Come down, Luna. All right, I'll go. That was an interesting battle. <laughs> Can I just show you some on the share screen? Yeah. I'll show you some. There you go. There is the Nano Detox Bath. One cup of baking soda, one cup of Epsom salt, one cup of 20 mule team borax, one cup of pink Himalayan sea salt. If you haven't got all the ingredients, at least skip some of it. Or Redmond salt. Never use white depleted minerals, table salt for any reason. Soak as long as you can. And the other part uh, is if you're drinking it. So I need to well, Google these things. <laughs> I'll, I'll put uh, it on. I'll put it on my Facebook later if you want. Okay. So you mean 
Tian should drink this? No, no that, 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 that's, that's, that's the bath. bath. That's the bath. That's the Don't drink Epsom salts. Yeah, <laughs> bad for the toe. <laughs> yeah, you that, that, toe. That's for the detox. It would help the toe, actually. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So this. I, yeah, I, everyone could have detox in that. Everyone. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to do it uh, now with her inflammation yeah. every day or? The only thing there is it says one cup of baking soda. I haven't got a clue what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? It, it can't cup. Be, yeah, baking soda is. Um, oh, hold on. It could be the, the solution here. Uh, ah. That just seems too much. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you need the baking soda. You just need mm. the borax, the Epsom salts. The Himalayan mm. sea salt sounds interesting. I yeah, know. yeah, this this I have. Yeah, whatever you also, you normally do a mix, do a mix. I wouldn't say a cup. A cup sounds too much. A cup of a cup is too much. I think it's a cup of a solution of the actual ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the FDA is that drinking it. That's the drinking part of it. Right. So we stop mm. sharing them. But I'm not a doctor. That's that's what someone else. That's what these have done. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, they allow climbing your body anyway, so it's great. Yeah. It's, it's, Do you want us to look at your other son? Yeah. Uh, sorry again. Uh, also not good foot photo. Here he was. <laughs> he's sleeping in the chair. Wait, no, wrong way. Nothing with his eyes open? Mm. No. And he has so beautiful eyes. Big. Do you have any with... pictures on your walls of your kids? <laughs> No, I, I'm sorry, but you know, we moved to this island. We rent the house. We we were thinking that we should live in this house three months, but now I'm still stuck. And I know that this island is not mine, so I'm waiting for something, but I don't know why or what. But uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't. Get you you don't need photos of your kids on the walls. Do you have any on your face? Do you have any on your Facebook page? No, I'm not a social media woman. Okay. <laughs> mm. Why don't you think of this child and we'll try and connect through you? I know. I had a, another phone. I go and get it. It may be there. I have a picture. Here we see. Uh, this is my husband's phone. So here I definitely have. Uh, this is from Summer. Is it okay? It can mm -hmm. be birth it doesn't matter it's the same energy we try otherwise i keep looking that's good that's excellent thank you thank you for i get help from what's Angel. his name his name is milliam 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 yes and he will be five in september and david no cecilia told me that he is a star seed but i don't know he's an angelic too I was picking mm -hmm. that up. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely an angelic. I can feel it. Jolene and Miriam, they are very similar in many ways. And these two are, they came to father. And Tian is mine, <laughs> if you understand. Mm -hmm. And I really feel it. He's um, an aspect of Archangel Michael, actually. Oh, oh, lovely Miriam. Yeah. I'm also a little, what should I say, sensitive because I have been home with my children uh, six years. They never go to kindergarten or something. But here in Cyprus, the children start at age five. So if I'm still here, I must put him in September. And it feels a little heartbroken for me. <laughs> He's, uh, he does have, he has some. They're, they're in his back. Mm-hmm. And his knees? Yeah, the knees I had uh, on a session before. And also, I think it's two years ago or something. Uh, he was only in his body 60%. But uh, she said that she fixed it under this session. Well, but this I remember. And he got the tracker again, this and his ankle, right ankle. Mm-hmm. Um, He's got another tracker on the back of his neck. Do you have a problem with his ears? Uh, no. It has only been Tian with ears, not Miriam. You need the picture up. Okay. He's got a parasite in his left ear. In his. Yeah, I see. It's a it's a small spider. 
small spider. It's a parasite, a spiritual parasite. Yeah. That's why I said to, I, I couldn't tell what it was because they're, it was small. Mm-hmm. You have to actually um, like zoom in to it because it, it was it was black. And I was like, what is that? What is that? And try to make it bigger to, look, to see what it was. It's a spider. It's a small spider. It's just a parasite. Mm-hmm. But they put those in in, uh, in them as well. Does he have a bad back as well? Does he ache on his back? Ache? What is ache? Yeah, pain in his back. Okay. Does, but no. uh, he, he doesn't tell me anything that he has some pain. The thing is, that this is against the law, really. Spiritual law. And it's, they break it like anything. Okay. Yeah. He's too young for them to be doing this. Mm. He only said to me about his legs sometimes. Oh, my legs and this. And I said, yeah, maybe it's energy. Maybe it's growing, but not about uh, about way too young to have growing pains. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you see how attack my children. It's extremely. Yeah. How old is he again? Sorry. He's five. He will be five. Yeah. Four. You're looking at five. Yeah, growing mm. pains at five, it doesn't sound right, that one. <laughs> mm, no. He's still a baby. Yeah, he is. Mm. Yeah, I don't think the uh, implants were, up, were working properly. I think they've been put in at a very young age. Yeah. For, for his, when he's older. When he's older. They pre-planned this. They've gone through your timeline. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they had access to your timeline. That's gone. Uh, all to do with Orion, that one. Mm. especially the uh, parasite parasites very hard to get into people so has he ever been weak or needed an operation when he was younger or anything like that no trying to work out has he ever had a a a problem from birth from birth any operation anything like that illness Uh, uh, we had little problem with uh, breastfeeding uh, at the hospital and also with the tongue they were thinking that this one uh, I don't know the name in English. It was too short, so they cut it little. Uh, and then it gets better. Um, and he has been, uh, he has been the, uh, uh, of all my three kids, he is the one who has been most sick. Right. And also um, the head, many scars. Stitches. and Stitches. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, also, it could, he, it could easily be any of them. Very easily. Yeah, and also he has, um, you know, the food in, in, and uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my English! I get nervous. That's okay. He, he he puts the the food in throat and it stucks. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, also happened a lot when he was uh, very small, uh, and this this was so new for me because none of the other two has been through this so it has been little of this stuff with miliam mm. i think english is really good considering i have trouble with english and i only got one language <laughs> okay <laughs> so, so, so I thought. i'm trying it's <laughs> yeah. very good it's very good yeah mm. you, got, you got two cards and it, it should be a lot better now with all of yeah. these gone. Yes, it's all gone now. oh Thank you. And also, I, I think it's what you say, Phil. Maybe yes. we are more sick this year because it's a new, we're living in a new place. Maybe. And, and you've, got hope... pe- you've got people shredding viruses out. Yeah. yeah, maybe. That's a bit political. <laughs> Linda, for that. Linda, try getting, um, try for, because of the allergies and things like that, try getting local honey. Local honey. Raw honey, local raw honey. Go to bee people that keep bees. It helps a lot. Yeah, I try, yes. but Yulin and Miliam, they can't take anything with honey. They throw up immediately. Really? It's so hard. Yeah. Why, and also, why, why don't you add I, garlic and onion with it? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but they are so I mean, also with the coughing and everything, I know that honey is the best uh, coughing medicine, but mm. Yulin, she really can't. And I and I try different honey. I I try a manuka honey. I try raw honey, and this. No, no, no. You can't, can't hide it. Her. Hide it in food. <laughs> I try. Just give I it her when she's asleep. Ah, yeah. uh, maybe I should. 
I will do. I will tell you what you tell me. So maybe she can try. Yeah. You want to say stop? Mm. Yeah, tell, him, tell him when to stop. Uh, He's shuffling the cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, my brain. Um, stop. Yeah, Sophie's on now. She'll be moaning at us using the cards. <laughs> mm -hmm. Signs and study. Yeah. Signs. Study. I think I think uh, time to upgrade your spirituality. Uh, the signs they're giving you the signs. You've asked uh, for help. Follow the signs they give you. Study. So get some study behind you. Learn new skills on spirituality. Here you go. Mm, oh, Angel no. speaks very much with me with numbers. Extremely yeah. much. That's good. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, my God. I thank you so much. I don't have PayPal, but I will give you something. So how can I do? Because this is insane what help I got today. So how can I do? I don't have PayPal. You don't have PayPal? Um, no. Do you do other things in um, Europe? Uh, we have Swish, uh, Revolut, uh, bank transfer. Uh, You'd have to send it to Phil because I'm yeah, here you, in you the state. You can send it to me. I could give you details later. And you can yeah. just send okay. it and then I'll share it with you. And then yeah. okay. what, what happens is that it on Monday, Tuesday, we just balance everything off. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. contact you uh, in the morning because now it's 11 o'clock here. So, uh, and I will definitely. Do you know it. tomorrow we, we catch up by an hour? <laughs> ah, okay. We're finally going to be. <laughs> And yeah, I think April 1st weekend, uh, the southern hemisphere will then change. They'll fall fall back. So, yeah, is there a fall? I will. Mm -hmm. uh, just message me, PM me tomorrow. I'll give you I will definitely. Details. And from oh, my heart to your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, the next one. The next one I wrote myself. The next one actually is Marilyn, but she is no longer here. She left. Okay. So and then I wrote myself, I need um body. I, are you here? <laughs> yeah. I was a joke. Sorry about that. I've yeah, been healing have... now for about nine hours. Actually. I don't actually understand most of your words, Philip. I said, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? She's... Ah, are you here? <laughs> yeah, it is very hard to... <laughs> yeah, it's my, my accent. Don't worry about it. I, I need to learn proper English. That's for it. Yeah, <laughs> the accent. yeah, I'm here. 100%. Yeah. 100%, yeah. <laughs> All right, Lily, Lily, Lily. Let's see yeah. what's going on with you. Let's see. How's your back, Lily? You feel like you feel like you have something on your back? Painful. It's painful. You got a parasite. <sighs> it's painful. It's right in the middle of this. Yeah, I know. I can see it. It's not upper. It's not lower. It's in the middle. Hmm. Have you had any visitors? I have a so funny what was that. I think that was Sunday evening. I woke up 1.30 in the morning because I forgot to brush my teeth before sleeping. I fall asleep. And then there is this a mark on here. There's a mark around one. It's like a two you got set you got red. A it was red. It was round, very. R I even told my husband it's a. It's like a scent. Two scent, round, red, perfect, perfect round. And I brushed my teeth like three, four minutes, and after that, it's gone. What? I wonder what I should have taken picture of it. <laughs> That's quite amazing, man. Yeah, That's, I should. And it's a bit scary that part. <laughs> yeah, like That's something new that one. Mm -hmm. visitors again mm -hmm. the thing is you, you the thing is you have got a shield we put a shield on you so you're not getting attacked by your friend if you get what yeah. i mean mm -hmm. but this is a new way of doing it this is this is so the using uh actually biting into it that's amazing yeah the dwarfs are back the it's like snow white and the seven dwarfs it's just the dwarfs i can see them it's actually put a parasite using a sting sort of thing that is amazing I've never known that one before. Like they're getting clever every week. Yeah, you didn't see you didn't see the dwarf set though. You just I have not them. seen them, but I have here the round which yeah. was really I'm well, thinking all they, did was, all they do is give you parasites or put parasites in you. And mm -hmm. um but 
trying to see where they're coming in. How, why are how are they able to make portals? Yeah, I'm asking. I'm just I, speaking. I'm speaking I, I, out loud and, and yeah, asking. yeah. I think I will really destroy the the because we still have a wall, the whole wall mirror. I think I will really destroy that one. It could be creating their own floor too, obviously. It's a whole mirror. I don't know why they put it there, but yeah. Do you have anything facing that mirror? Another mirror? I have cut. I I throw it out already. You got you. You took it. You took it yeah, down. Yeah, I took it out. Yeah, the yeah. other side. Okay. Should feel the energy now, really. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, we're repairing your block, your back parasites now. Go. Mm. And when you send that energy field, when it you can. are healing, it's mm -hmm. very painful. Mm. Yes. It's, it, oh. it would like squeeze. You got to take it out somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't dissolve it. <laughs> oh, we can't. Sorry, I was just uh, interrupted. Okay. It's coming in a vent. You have a heat vent? Heat vent? It, that room where there is a mirror, a very large one. <laughs> Where does the heat come in? From the heater. Do you have a from the heater, I, it, and it, there is a funny, but there is a like a door in on the wall. I don't know, but there's like a door on the wall. Yeah, I don't know what is that, but that is where that part there is where I have heard a marble before when I we were using the um, room. And we left it because there's so many sounds there. There is there a marble which will be thrown on a wooden wooden floor, and it will go <laughs> and then it will keep on sounding that all through the night. Yeah, that's the behind me. And we left it. We will not sleep there. There is so many sounds there. Mm. That's that's where the, the the dwarves are coming from. I also saw there in that room, believe me or not, a fresh blood, blood. Wow. And oh, I have <laughs> and it is under the cabinet, which is only like 5 cm from the floor. And it's there, blood is fresh, but it looks like it fall from the top because it's splash. It's there and it's splash on the side. Wow. I know what that I was really I even took picture of it I said how did this happen wow yeah how did wow. this happen it's under the cabinet which is only five hmm. it's flash like it falls from the high and then and the cat the cat didn't have any cuts no what kind of catch when it is a mouse the mouse do not have that much blood mm. the mouse do not have blood even mm. Mm. they don't and that was really like a bowl of <laughs> blood which fall down. Wow. Yeah. I don't really know what that was. Until now, I don't know what that was. Wow. Mm. Wow. That much blood? It's blood. And because we have the bunnies there, they spread also on the hay. Oh, my God. <laughs> it goes about it. I see. But I can talk about it. I will have goosebumps. I don't know what was that. But it's human blood. When I see it, it's blood. Well, there was no humans in there. Mm -mm. I even thought my bunny vomited blood, but he cannot get under the 5cm. So small. Oh, your bunny. Oh. You know, my bunny did not vomit any blood. He, no. In his... Well, bunnies can't throw up. They have no way of throwing up. They, do you know yeah. that? Bunnies can't oh, yeah. throw up. Yeah. Yeah. I was only thinking... So I turn yeah. him around. No, yeah. there's nothing. He's white. There is no red. Bunnies can't. So uh, I'm, I'm being told that it that the dwarves did it just to intimidate you. Mm. Here, uh, yeah. The house home has been cleared. Here you go. There's mm -hmm. no dwarves in there. Now. They, they would break intimidating rules. But yeah, it, it's just to give you fear, energy fear. Not, yeah. Stay in your power, be positive. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the... The thing on your marking on your body was a bit more well, a bit of uh -huh. something but that I'm not before. afraid of them. I even hear like something would bang on here behind me. Yeah. Yeah, I would not I would only wonder what was that? And I'll run down, I run to my husband. I'm afraid 
are you okay? So yeah, I heard it also. I said, there is something on the wall. So, yeah. What you should do is send it love. Mm, okay. So, anything, that fit, any banging, anything like that, send it love. Mm -hmm. okay. Love is the opposite to mm -hmm. that. So. Okay. okay. One time, very funny, my slippers, my slippers, I was looking for my slippers where it is under my bed and they're very nice together. When I do not put my slippers together, they're very nice together. And it's a fear thing. You're testing you <laughs> out. Very deep, so... deep in my under my bed. I said, "How did you get there?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. They play. They are playing. They play around. Your mother trying to test you fear, but you should have said, "Thank you." Can you do that every day with my slippers? Because you look really nice. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. want two cards. Thanks for doing that. I like yeah. that like that. I like my slippers like that. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Two Anyone? cards or not? Card is one card. One. Oh, two? Why three? <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> okay, stop. Right. Okay. One, two, three, or a reading. <laughs> okay. I'll do two. Ah, there you go. Focus. Focus on your journey. Okay. So yeah. Check your thoughts. You get intuition in your on your journey about a new beginnings. A new beginnings basically is what it says. Embrace new opportunities, friends, and that spiritual projects. Mm -hmm. there you go. Yes. Does that make sense now? Yes. Yeah. I have to focus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I love uh, it. And and just a, a message to Sophie. Did you hear that? Sorry. <laughs> I don't understand you again. Yeah, he Sophie can play. Sophie. Sophie does our videos and she complains about me doing cards. Sophie? <laughs> yeah, and she's on here now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so we go to the next one. Yeah. CM. I don't know. CM for um body scan. Do we have? You still here? No. We don't have CM anymore. Okay, no. then again to the next one, Gabrielle. Gabrielle Reed. Hello. Hi, Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Are you with us? Good morning. Is your broadband with us? Yes. <laughs> I hope so. Nope. Oh, no it's, uh, it's getting there. I was just getting ready to go to Walmart to try to have a better connection. What are we doing? Scan. She wants to scan and okay. healing. All right. Yes, please. Thanks, Rick. Deb, Bill. You seem okay to me. I don't have anything changed. How about you, Bill? Yeah. yeah. Um, I was wondering if my guides can six months work to you guys and maybe give me six, six months, months for baby. Six months. Okay. <laughs> okay. We did say this year. Yeah, no. I've been wondering. Yeah. Is that the question? That was one of the questions. Um, I was going to see if my guides think I'm ready for an upgrade. Um, I keep thinking third eye, third eye. Yeah, CM coming up, by the way. So. I just saw that, yeah. Um, those come automatically when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Not when okay. we see you're ready. When they, yeah, your your guides don't, the guides don't um, determine when you're ready. It's uh, higher up than that. Okay. I, I am getting some of it, and I don't want to say it because I'm a male, but my feminine side is saying it. You just need some healing in your ovaries to clear some of it. Yeah. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. yeah that I, I don't, I'm, I, I'm the wrong person to say that. <laughs> no, actually, that's, um, it's very in, intuitive that you picked that up because um, my last menstrual cycle, it was a lot shorter and it ended, but I've, I've been feeling like I, like it needs to clear like the rest yeah. of it. and it was like the blood was darker so in for a while so I was like what you're saying makes sense I'm just not I just need to do it energetically that's so, new. thank you yes thank you still get a message for you to trust release everything don't push everything let it happen the way it's supposed to happen and trust yeah get out of your head <laughs> yeah that's why my dreams have been crazy. Those were literally my cards today, y'all. Like, was what to trust? Yeah, yeah trust clarified. Um, 
my um I got a higher chakra one it had to do with like having trouble sleeping and then I got spiritual bath Claire or the uh spiritual bath said celibacy and um crystal clearing clarified yoni egg so it was like I needed to clear out those that area you know so um yeah that makes sense. You'll, you'll feel the energy. You should feel the energy now. Okay, Gabrielle. Yeah, that's really good. Thank you. Oh, I'm done. Thank you. Did you feel that? Yeah, it felt like it calmed down my brain. If that makes sense. Yeah, I feel a lot more. Relaxed. You want two cards, or you already had a reading today, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I'll say I'll stop. Take, I'll give you two um, cards. It'll probably be trust. Now. Now, that's a new one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, it's not trust. <laughs> I should have cheated, shouldn't I? <laughs> Playfulness. Playfulness. So have fun on your journey. Don't get life so serious. And divine guidance. You follow your intuition. There you go. That makes sense. Thank you so much, guys. I You're love welcome. you. I love you, you too. too. Um, also, my friend Raquel had to go to work, but I do have her picture for her turn if there's time. Yeah, I'll call you after after I'll call you back, um, Gabrielle. Okay, for Raquel, Rachel. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So we have we have actually Chassi 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 here. She changed her phone. Chassi, you're in. Katie. Katie. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to switch to my iPad because the phone volume keeps going fluctuating. So, so you saw the IP instead of CM. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So I wanted to get, I know I talked to you guys last Saturday. I met all of you. Thank you very much. You guys are really awesome. Um, I wanted to get a scan for myself. I know I got a lot going on with the family, but literally I, that's everything. I'm always doing it for everybody else. But I wanted to just look at what I got going on. I got a couple of things that I wanted to just throw at you um, after you do the scan, just to see if I'm on the right track. Okay. And I like your borax uh, bath idea. I think that's, who knew? Can you look into the camera on the- Oh, let, yes. Let, yeah. me, <laughs> let me see if I can get some better lighting. I don't know if that's gonna help you. Ah, there we go. Ah, that's not working. I know it's not, I'm in the wrong spot. Holy moly. Oh, where is my camera? So I don't like the iPad for that reason, but my phone, I couldn't get the volume. Oh, there you go. You need eyes? Yeah, David. Yeah. I, can, I, see, I can see the tent behind you really, really well. Yeah. <laughs> you, want it, you want me to scan the tent? <laughs> no. Oh, that is amazing how it will not even pop up. So, There's your hand. There's Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, don't move. Look this way. Look, there you go. That's it. Whoa, that is amazing. Okay, that whole. Yeah, is- when you yeah, say you're amazing, you're is looking it at you- your phone. Yeah. Your, your phone's only carrying your voice. Look at the iPad. Yeah. Can you see? It? Can you see me yes. now? Yes. Yeah. When oh, you say it, it's amazing, so are you watching here. me at the time? Is that what? Yeah. It is? Yeah, yeah. Right. I, <laughs> I know. I'm like. Where are the ca- where's the camera on this pad? Where are you going? That might, better. That might be better. Wow. It, now it's like my phone. Okay. That is, I don't like this iPad. I'm so sorry. I don't even hardly use it. Okay. You're not going to get a scan, are you? Oh, my if you God. just, if you <laughs> still, if you sit still okay. or sit the thing still. Okay, there, yeah, there it is. There we go. She just sent you a picture. Wow. No, I like it live so much better than the picture. Yeah, I get you. Anyway, I see if there's anything inside of you. Uh, probably yeah. a whole bunch, but we'll just leave it at that. A picture is not the full essence of the person, yeah. so it's better with a live person. Wow. That is- do you feel, do you, feel hmm. do you hear any voices? Um, You mean like if I, like say somebody would be talking to me? When it's all quiet, do you hear any voices in your head? Uh my own just my own thoughts okay <laughs> like i'm only asking no, i'm only wait. asking because i think you have an attachment oh I, I, i'm also picking 
I don't know if we said this last week. Do you are you like an empath? Do you take people's pain? Oh, absolutely, majorly so. Yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, why? Oh, why? Yeah. yeah, I have no idea. Ground it when you take the pain. Take it and ground it. Yeah, Gr- ground it into a tree, into the grass. Okay. Because it's not yours. You carry it, and and they keep piling up like boxes on your shoulders. Yes, I get, I totally understand that. And I well, that's where I'm at right now. Is I'm just trying to avoid that. But at the same time, it's hard when you have you. It's almost like you're a paramedic, and you've got to go to the freaking scene. And I'm not a paramedic. I don't want to be a paramedic. I, that's not even that. But I but. I understand. I think part of why I am, why I'm here doing this is probably some past life stuff. And the only reason I say that is I've been told in my past life, I've I've just been um, a caretaker, so to speak, you know, where a spiritual shaman kind of things along that line. And, and maybe I've carried it all into this life. I don't know. Did you know a Robert? Um, Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Passed on? No, no, uh, no. I have two brothers that have passed on. One very young, uh, and then one. Well, they actually they're both pretty young. So you didn't know but, a Robert or a Bob? I uh, nope. Okay, and this is nope. a guy that just kind of picked you. Yeah, huh? But I, yeah. but I've been told in my past lives I've had very short lives. I they were all traumatic. I mean, the kind of stuff where you're you're you know you're burned at the stake kind of deal. So I. And I, so I guess I can understand maybe bringing trauma into this life. I don't know. But at the same time, I just want to be able to get to a point where I can let figure out how to let it all go and put everything that doesn't belong to me back off onto wherever it needs to go. But I just uh, know right now in my, where I'm at is I feel like I am just drained and I am super high energy, like nobody's business. I'm, I mean, I literally have energy for you know, 20 year olds, but at the same time, that's only going to carry me for so long. And I am, I am literally mentally drained off of all that I've been going through. I mean, it, it seems like every, our whole life changed over. I know I told you guys, and I want to do a private session. We, we have got to, um, we, we got to figure a bunch of stuff out so we can sit down and, and do, do a private session with you guys. But everything just was like, one day was this day. And it felt like, boom, it was now something different. And it seemed like overnight. And what, now I'm trying to catch up with uh, from everything, from health to finances. I, I kid you, 2017, we went to contact in the desert. We drove home, was just amazed at this whole new, you know, I- I experience of mind opening information. And it just seemed like after we got home, our life was just completely changed i mean well, what what it, it, what it is it's it's like the mandela effect because they've done that machine in switzerland we're jumping you like a, a semi-universe if you get what i mean so that's why things that are real are changing yeah you yeah. get that it's uh, very complex yeah. but it's i so think I, it i yeah. think it's that machine when they turn that machine on we're now jumping we can jump into different realities and things are okay. different and that, like if you think about how life is now and what it was five years ago right. it's completely different it's changed oh, yeah, very, completely. for all of us i under for I all totally, of us, all of us. yes yeah. i totally understand and i know that i know that where we're all headed too i get i do get all of that i'm just trying to keep i'm just trying to keep ourselves above water and i feel like i am doing it myself but i'm paying a price physically i mean i literally feel like okay, how can you take care of yourself so you can take care of what you need to get done here? And we're on, we personally, and this, my family, you know, right now, my family and I are going through this massive shift, a ma- massive transition. Um, but I feel like I am the one that's holding it up. And, and actually, I am the one that's holding it up. And if I wasn't, if I, if I crash, like I can't get sick. Thank God I don't get sick. But if I got sick, we would be, we'd be devastated because we have animals. We've got Steve is sick. His, his physical health is obviously, I know I, you guys tapped into it a little bit last week. And, and, and so we know that there's this major shift going on. The question is, is how is it all going to play out? 
I don't know. But what I do know is that I just need to be able to protect myself so I can keep going. And I can't, I mean, I, I'm not a give up person by any means, even if I don't care if it's past life, this life, I know that you're, I'm not a give up person. So I, I just need to be able to know I need some protection. I would like to believe that I can be right. You, 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 you're clearing your past life. This is the best life to clear it. You're in 3D, going yeah. into 5D. All the energies are coming in. It's the best life. You clear. You can clear so much. So it's ideal. Think about that. The second yeah. thing is to ground anything that you don't need, any empath, and any energy you take off any anything. Find a system that makes it automatic in your body. And any attachments you get, because you'll pick up attach, attachment, you know, uh, lost souls or anything, think of, think of a system to automatically send them up, send them to the next one. Yeah, you see, exactly. That's what I'm looking to Sounds do. Sounds simple, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, right, I know. That's the thing is, how do you do that on a daily and how do you keep yourself clear so you can stay on the right path and keep your, mm. your, your health clear? Because... I feel like I'm super vulnerable in the health department now, just because I feel like I've touched on the other side of high stress, you know, just the normal living stuff, just, you know, set the spiritual aside, but just the whole body, not, not taking care of the body, the way the body needs to be taken care of kind of stuff. And you're burning the, you know, the candle at both ends. And it's like, okay, there's got to be that. I, I just feel like there's got to be a way to, to, to balance it out. I mean, I, I did a, um, a thermography not too too long ago and and sh- the one thing that came up for me and it's a little bit disheartening is that when it came back it was a 5.5 and it had she said if it was a six that she would have told me my cancer is back and I, and she goes if you don't take care of your stress level and things along that line that you need to take care of your health your your cancer is going to come back and that really freaked me out because now I have to deal with this on top of everything else. No way. I don't, I don't even, I don't have room for any of that stuff. That's not in my, I don't know how to say it. I don't, I don't have room for anything else other than to keep doing what I need to do. And that's to get us out of our house, to get, to take care of, you know, what I need to take care of here. And we, it's a huge project because it's all on me. I kid you not, it is literally, I don't even like reaffirming the negative, but I've got nobody else. My family, nobody lives here. And it's pretty much on me to get this stuff, to get this house done. And, and we're, I'm behind the eight ball, literally behind the eight ball. The economy has changed over to where I, we've lost a lot of money in equity just in the last six months. And, and, but we need that money to get out. So it's a, it's an insane place where I'm at. So I can tell you from the body standpoint, yeah, I'm aching, but I don't know how much of that is, is from what, uh, is it the stress? Is it, is it, you know, I hate to say it. I don't like, I think it's scar tissue that's in my, uh, chest breast area. Um, it did get pointed out to me. Can I say two things here? One, the stress can to make your weak point come back. Number two, Uh by thinking it had come back, it can come back. Come back. So yes. you can be manifesting it and creating the stress to feed yes. that manifestation. Absolutely. I don't like yeah. any of it. And that makes me mad at myself because I went and got, you know, thinking I was doing the right thing and went and got the thermogram. And then when you get that kind of news, you're like, the last thing I want to put in my brain is a potential for this. And then when I'm dealing with all the high stress stuff, then I'm just going, okay, now what do you do? You're, I, I feel like I'm sabotaging myself because I don't know, you know, I don't know what, how to get out of it. If that makes any sense. I can't keep, you know, it's almost like, how do you turn off? That's what I'm looking for is how do you, how do you redirect? How do you turn off? How do you change? Pro- program your brain. You got to program it to do that. So I can just stop and say, okay, look, all right. So you got this news, but it means nothing right now. I mean, you're just, just let it go. Delete it. Just let it go. Surrender okay. release. Where's okay. where's your where's your trust? Because we all know that we are infinite beings. And what's the worst that can happen? Okay, we transition. Right. right. We, we've done that thousands of times. And I can tell you that you you haven't had all traumatized lives. That's I only like, a few I, of I, your I, lives. I, you've had yeah. thousands of lives just like yeah. we have. And yeah. many, many of them were not all traumatized. 
Yeah, I like, well, right. I, I, I believe, I, I believe that I want to believe that I just happen to, for whatever reason, not, not, not want to believe, believe it. Yeah. Believe it. You had the, thousands. And yeah, the, the, for many the few bad ones, ones, you're clearing now. You're getting rid okay. of them. Okay. That's yeah. probably why they got picked up by whoever I was talking to. I, I mean, I talked to a couple of uh, people and, and one of them was that there was some pretty traumatic stuff. I mean, where I died really young and all these different lives. And I'm like, I don't want to die young. That's not cool. You know, and and one of them, that was the worst one that had to do with the breast cancer was I was um, and long story short, I was just burned to a stake because they assumed I was a witch. I mean, literally, it was during that era where I couldn't produce kids and the whatever the weirdo. Um, decided that that I wasn't good enough, and it was just a child bride kind of thing, and and that's and but but the problem is is it had to be associated with the breast cancer, so that stuck with me more than any of the past lives. I'm like, so how do I keep clearing that? How do I make sure that that is not that is not my anything has nothing to do with me today? None of my past lives. I don't want anything to do with me today. I don't. I want them all gone. But they were brought up so that you could heal them and release them. Mm. So once I release it, boom, it's gone. Yeah. So why do you keep thinking about it? Well, mostly because whenever my whenever I I have a pain, then it then the focus comes back to okay. So why do you have that pain? Because I'll I'll get a, a, a but, but you're bringing it back. Okay. If you if you've released it, yes. If you if you've released that lifetime, then why do you want to bring it back? I don't. Then why? Then don't. You, you, you answer it too you. Yeah. when you re, when you release that you the the, the lifetime was brought to, up for you to to release heal and, heal and release it by okay. releasing it that that no longer is attached to you so you don't okay. have to worry about it anymore so when i'm in the physical now and 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 i make a movement and i i my well, i call it scar tissue but the the pain that's in my chest area um, when, when that, when that happens, then what do I take with that information? Do I just go, okay, fine. That scar tissue has nothing, you know, but uh, no, no. What you do, you heal that life. Now let's go back in that time, meet that witch. She was uh, get, just about, she was dying just as, as she was having the steak or whatever, because of probably some religious people. Yeah. Uh, freaks. Yeah. Uh, send love to it. Send love to the, this aspect of yours. Say you're going to be all right. You need to go to yoga soul. Get the soul part that fragmented. The part of soul would have been fragmented and heal it. Send love to it and heal it. So let's close our eyes and let's all do it. Let all the group do it. All right, just close your eyes and go. Okay. Just try and visualize. Visualize this, this person. It's just about to die. Uh, anger, a uh, pain that... She wasn't, she, I think you told me she couldn't even have kids. So even, even that would have been a trauma to her. So send, start stroking, start sending love to the, this fragment. So saying you need to go back to us. You need to be repaired. Any negativity, send it to source. Can you feel that? Release it to source. Release your fragment, this soul back to the over soul. The me wants to cry for the, for the loss of whoever that was back then. Mm, just cry then. It's yeah, no, okay. It's the game. Release. I saw some about that. She she didn't deserve that. And they stripped her off naked in front of the village and then did the stake and it was disgusting. Sick. And you know the worst part is there it was a priest who who did it because the and I guess in those days, you're the you know, person took the girl to the priest. And then the priest is the one who performed it. And I absolutely abhor priests. And now I know why. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's like there, you know, there's something there. I don't know. I just want to be able to find the tools so I can, so I can protect myself here and now. Cause I want to be in the here and now. I don't want all this other stuff. I don't, I, I'm too busy to, if that makes any sense there, I don't want to focus on any other junk. I just want to be now. So it, I, that, no, that that was now. Yeah. Time is irrelevant. Time is not linear. It's now. It's happening now. That aspect died now. It might be hundreds of thousands, of, well, hundreds of years ago, but it's now, and now it's been cleared. It's, it's all connected. It's all, yeah. yeah, all connected. 
Okay, and it, it was what she endured was awful. It really was. Yeah. If I was there with a sword, I would have cut heads off. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I feel like that I get that too, because I would too. You know, I'm sure that that is, mm. yeah. No yeah, I, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have anger like that, but I'm a, I'm a bit of a warrior, so it's just part of me. Okay, I will, whenever I have a pain, Along that line, I will know I can just stop and release and let it go and 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 have compassion for because that's yeah. what I feel you shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have any more because you've already yeah. released it. Got, but like it. remember the ones who did it, you've got to do this. Send them love and forgiveness. Yes, I did. I I understand that too. Hard yeah. to do, but yeah, I, but that lifetime is done with. You've yeah, probably got a couple more. It's on just one. You know, can you imagine all the multiple lives that you've had? And how how much how, I'm amazed that our bodies are alive today with uh, everything that there's, there's not many. If you have a life and you kill thousands, you still right. might not have trauma. Trauma right. is something that normally happens just before death. Oh, yeah. God. it's a okay. memory. It's a memory of that, and you your body can't handle it. Your spirit uh, then can't handle it, and it parts of the soul starts breaking up. So okay. they're not only just killing the person, they're breaking the soul as well. So that's so. right before death when you have a traumatic, like mm. I had I had life where I was a young 15 or whatever, young teenager who got churned up in a, some kind of a machinery. So mm. that, and then, and she, because she asked me, do you have any, you know, body aches? And I said, well, I don't know. I'm Don't we all have body aches? But but but, but that, that that would have been a different trauma, isn't it? It's like <laughs> shock. It, you've got your life out of you. You wanted probably children. You wanted this, that, and the other, and that would have broke the fragment. Where the other one was different. That was what was being happening to you. Where uh, getting thrown on the on the machine was probably partly your fault for being for, for making a mistake. Yes, but you, you couldn't handle the actual uh, death because of you had your future to go on. Where the other one was more evil, if you get what I mean. Okay. You had evil. And the shock of having a priest doing that is even unbelievable. That's cool. And you, okay. you would have yeah. probably had a Christian sort of lifetime. Yeah, it, yeah. It de I definitely felt that. I mean, when I heard, when I brought, when she brought that up, um, I felt really strong about that whole thing. I almost, even though I, I don't, you know, I don't try to delve into the whole past. I just happened to, I just happened to actually, we weren't even going to be on this conversation. She just happened to go there anyway, yeah. like to dig into to the, too much of that stuff. Um, but when she brought it up, I felt it immensely. So I knew that something was definitely there. Um, I, the only other thing I've got is, is I, I know I need to protect myself from, from energy and, and yes, there's probably, uh, you know, from that standpoint, um, a lot going on as far as, as far as the body goes, but um, mostly the one thing that I that I'm concerned with is my back, and the only reason being is I know that it's for whatever reason I it's a weak back, and I can't afford for it to be weak, and it, it and it's probably weak because I abused it because I you do a lot of stuff and I do a lot of heavy things by myself, so I think that that's probably the here and now. I don't think that maybe is a past life because it's never come up. Uh, hold on. If you've had a past life aching, it can affect you. It's, it can be here and now quite easily, even though it's a past life, because you've got that energy here. Yeah. But you haven't right. now. You haven't got that one anyway. One's concluded. Yeah. Do you want two cards, by the way? I do. Sure. Just say stop. Okay, stop. I wonder if it's a surrender or release. That's, that's the ones I would have given <laughs> no <laughs> set your intentions okay intention got it yeah and it's romance mm. and romance uh -huh. yeah. so create a goal i said create a goal that's what set, set your intention for a goal and okay. romance i wonder what that means <laughs> uh find love for myself maybe <laughs> yeah that sounds like it <laughs> you 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 i didn't know you could read uh, oracle cards uh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can okay. see that. I mean, it, just the fact that I don't take care of myself the way I need to. Um, yeah. A person who's type A that's always on the go. Yeah, it makes a real difference because yeah. you're, I know the things that I need to do and, and I don't do them um, mm. the way that 
because when you're always on the move, um, I do have, an, and we, and I will when when we do a private session. I I probably need to bring up our pets only because we have five dogs, and I didn't. Yes, five. I, I didn't have my glasses on, so I didn't realize you guys were doing pet days, but I won't get into it because it, it'll just drain you. Um, but it, we do have three alphas and we are having a lot of challenge with them. So when I get to that place, I'll, I'll try to figure out, a, is, there, is there any way that you can tap into um, helping them to not hate each other? It can, possibly. Okay. Because <laughs> right now uh, with alpha, we, we, Remember, you got to set a goal. I'll give you an example today. I was healing someone with scar, uh, I broke the neck, scar tissue, because I was doing a, a, a school fate. And I was doing that, and I was thinking, I could do this all the time. Why do I have to do 3D work? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So it, it, the, the question did enter my mind. So that's setting a goal. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I, well, just so you know, I, I know I'll be by okay. you. Okay. So, I don't know. Is there anything else that I need to do? Yeah, come come back on the next one. Oh, <laughs> and see if there's anything else to clear. Come back. Start we're, clearing we're any other up, lives. We're set up a private session because you've got a lot going on. Yeah. I, need to, I realize that it, it it isn't just a one. I get this. You guys are amazing and and. Who knew? I even was able to tap into this, and, and I'm glad I did. But it, it is a private session because there is a lot. There, there, there's just too much activity going on in this home. I want to get to a place where I, I only have a little bit of activity. I've never had that in my life. It's always been go, go, go. But I'm at a point where I really like the other. It does look good. Uh, a lot of the activity might not be in your realm. It might be up 4D, and you're picking it up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, even more information i don't know okay. thank you very much thanks for for let, let me get on here even i know it was pet day so okay <laughs> they do not want to know about our pets because it, it's too much they're they're fun they're really funny but they are yeah they're they're a handful so okay okay thank you guys so we go right. yes thanks lily we go to the next, right. we go to the next one gabrielle because she, she, it is Raquel, and she has the picture. Oh. Gabriele Reed. Yeah, you have the picture of Raquel. Okay. Right. Are you going to work? Oh. <laughs> yep. I went to Walmart. <laughs> okay. She is asking for body scan. Did you pick oh, up any in insects in the Walmart? Insecticide. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the parking lot, you know, soaking up the sunshine. Okay. Oh, I right. You got it on that. Yeah. Can you see that, Deb? Her friend. Yeah. What's her friend's name? She's she's trying to. And it's Raquel Gomez. Where's the picture? It's in the chat. I can send it on Messenger as well. You're going to have to open it, Phil, because it never opens for me. I know. I got it. It's not opening. Yeah, it's opening. It's, it's getting there. It's opened. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Oh, you sent it on the messenger as well, but I didn't need that. I just sent it now. What does she need, uh, Gabrielle? Um, she needs a healing scan. She's also um, had uh, one of the vaccines. I mean, uh, um, how many? Um, um, yeah, lollipop. The pond water. <laughs> yeah. Um, her daughter's also been seeing like these entities like in the house. Um, That's because of the pond water. <laughs> pond water attracts them. Mm, makes sense. Yeah. She gives permission, yeah, I presume. Yes, so. yes. I don't think she's ah. been feeling very well lately. No, she's been struggling too. She was wondering her... Um, there is like a feminine energy. She believes it's po uh, possibly her ex's um, current partner has been sending negative energy their way. I would say that. Um, I'd say it's an implant. Sending it out the message. The implants in their. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's making her feel that. So it becomes fear based and it, it makes a negative. It lowers the vibration. Definitely only add one. One for sure. Um, 
I was trying to get clarification earlier, but she um, she's a photographer. She had a session she had to um, go to. Sounds like two to me. Okay. Right, that's done. I've got to tell you, my crystal source being wrote in a Akashic record book. You know that wall with a mana pointing and put what? No, pond water. <laughs> that's why I was laughing. <laughs> In the cash it record. So. Yeah, I've been telling her, I was like, yeah, friend. <laughs> and then mm. she's felt more drawn to lately. She's like, I know I need to get on. Yeah. So today I was like, I got you. I'm like, mm. you should feel the difference in a few days. Oh. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of black hair smoke came out of the body anyway. Good, 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 good. That'll be a big help for her. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. Mm. Just say stop quickly. Stop. Uh, yeah. Now it's power and balance. Mm-hmm. So she, she has the power of the creator. So she she could have cleared that herself. And balance, she just needs to ask when she needs help. But she's asked you. So I thought she's done that. Yeah, I feel like this will be help her get closer to that point. And um I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much. I appreciate You're welcome. it. Yeah. Okay. We go to the next one. Suzette, you are in. Body okay. scan for Suzette. Body scan for implants. Okay. Cross your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> fingers yes, crossed. Implant. Okay. I had a specific one I want you to scan for. Right thigh. I saw them brand me and felt all that. All the way to the bone. Why well, we did that? <laughs> Behind her neck, ah. middle of her back, lower, sp- back? Mm. lower spine, both thighs. Behind the knees, mm. behind the ankles, both feet. Was the branding a tracker? Felt like a tracker. The branding was. It's also a statement showing you. To intimidate you. Uh huh. I could hear them talking. They were telling me I was not coming into my powers and I was not They're lying to you. away from them. They're lying. Saying that because you nearly there. Oh, yeah. That's why. I didn't believe it. Yeah. They'd love to lie. Uh-huh. So you, you are so much more powerful than they are and they just don't want to give you up. Right. You're such little minions. <laughs> you're so they're so pathetic. Little shits. I, you know, it's when it's, you should just, just live, look at them with petty and send them love and just say, I love you so much. <laughs> that, That's what I was going to ask you. It's my question. Yeah. It just, I love you so much. They hate that. They would have run. <laughs> After you guys really, did really the mean that. implant removal, I did that. I told them, thank you for teaching me to stand in my power. Yeah. I've been calling you. Just go into your people. heart. You don't have to call on anybody. You're just as powerful. You're actually just as powerful as they are. You just go into your heart and start beaming out this loving energy. And it tell, I'm telling you, it just will, they'll just, they'll leave. They, they get go back. That energy just makes them fall back because they're just so low vibe. How do I pull in that energy? That's what it, I you do. Don't, you don't pull it in. It comes from you. It's already in you. Yeah, it's chakra. Little, you go heart into your heart chakra, chakra and it goes, it beams out. You okay. already have it. So you just Thank go you. to your heart and just feel this loving energy. It's there. It's so powerful. It just pushes them back. That's what you have to bring through that heals. It heals people. It, it just, it's just so powerful. Love is the most powerful weapon we have. Mm-hmm. Yes. And yeah, the beings I've, I've, I've figured out well, the Draco, Draco again. Draco, yeah. they said they were Draco. Did they say that? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, they were. Yeah. I saw them. <laughs> yeah, now, now uh, I uh, how their energy feels, and that helped. Yeah, they also smell. Yeah, yeah. and they die not very nicely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Phil. I've got you on closed captioning, so I'm able to figure out what you're saying now. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. Mm. Okay. I, I got him in, in words. <laughs> um, okay. Are my okay, well. hot flashes something negative? No. No? Okay. No. Okay. Oh. When do they happen? When do they happen? 
pretty much all the time during the day or at night, but also while I'm doing my clearing, they happen too. Um, the other thing is, um, I don't know if I'm having astral sex or if that's Kundalini awakening. I couldn't tell this. Yeah, last astral time. sex would be trickery, uh, trickster. trickster. Kundalini <laughs> awakening, I'm not sure. Could be Kundalini. Kundalini, well. I don't think, it doesn't give you a... It could do. Kundalini awakening is painful. It's painful? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's, it's like an uh, orgasm. It's an yeah. <laughs> astral sex guy that moved in over here. I was going to say Kundalini is like bondage sex. Say <laughs> <laughs> so, laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and Kundalini awakening takes a very long time. It's not something that's quick, like sex. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't had sex in 12 years. I've kind of forgotten what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> My you shouldn't to yeah. my to all of this was because of a sexual entity attack, and I suffered from that one for five years, almost like every night, sometimes three times a night, and I didn't know what was happening, and I was looking for answers, and that's how I found out about the awakening and everything else, and I finally got help. That healer. I'm wondering, is it is it attached to that healer that I use to help me? You never know with healers, actually. Good. There's there's no there's no sexual energy from a healer. There's no okay. sexual. Well, help me to release that astral entity. Oh, okay. I don't know if he, he is attached and he can still drain me from that. I don't know how that stuff works. He was telling me I was giving my power away. And when I was listening to your today's session, I was like, oh, that might be something important I need to know. Yeah. You don't, yeah, you don't want to give your power away ever. Um, or if someone says, let's merge with anybody. Ever. Or if someone says, let's join art chapters or arts. No, yeah. uh, I don't, I, no, you don't need to do that. Yeah. Never, yeah. Never share your heart. Merge okay. your heart. Right. That's giving he your power. He would scan me and then he would tell me what it was. And I was going in with my energy and healing it. And then he would scan me and tell me that I was doing it right. That's or giving fine. advice. If you're but using your end, own energy, yes, that's fine. At the end of my relationship with him, I could feel him attacking me. So I blocked him and, and locked him out. Wow. That's right. That's good way of doing it. Uh, it, was, wow. it was really strong because it, it, as soon as I clicked on the messenger, it came through and I was like, oh no, he's he's been taken over. Wow. And his name is Dave Dunway. Mm, he was doing know. work on me and on Lucy Jane. And we both were, the Sasquatch were saying, no, he's attacking you. Wow. I love the Sasquatch. Oh, I see them clearly. Sometimes they walk right past my window. <laughs> I I I was um I used to communicate with them years ago. What, what planet are they from? Because they're not from Earth. What planet are they from? What planet are they from? They're from yeah. um, Maladek and. Well, Maladek is gone. Right yeah, when it exploded, yeah. Source asked them to come to Earth to watch over humanity. Yeah, they're here to keep to to keep the vibration of the planet. Right, and that's how I'm able to. They're my anchor. Because I was a, a previous Sasquatch life and my son was coming to visit me and he's he's still he goes and visits Lucy now he's with their her clan there and he comes all the time and says hi to us it's really it, Mal, nice. Mal get, Mal get got destroyed by uh, the dark one didn't they in a war yeah. yeah yeah I think some of the Atlantians came from there you know yeah they don't appear they, they, they don't show themselves to very many people yeah. All my friends that I'm connected to are connected to the Sasquatch that like this. Yeah, I haven't talked to them in a long time. Yeah. Uh, the implants are gone and you, you have healing done on the implants and whatever you had. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, so, um, yeah anytime there's a sexual, it's um, trickster energy. It's not. Trickster. Yeah, um, unless you're looking for it in Astra. Yeah, <laughs> unless you're looking for it. You know? It's still not a good thing. <laughs> how do i repel these implant things by just by sending them love you're saying yeah yeah well, definitely yeah, you yeah. Are, if your vibration is high and you send them love they'll have difficulty putting them in yeah. the eye of the vibration the harder it is to, to implant because it it's a, you're too hot for them you're too yeah because so, yeah. they're they're fourth dimensional beings too right mm. okay 
you, you got to get up to the fifth dimensional and kind of keep your vibration higher. But even the fifth is infiltrated a little bit. It's no, there's not, there's not in the fifth. They're only fourth. Uh, I have a question for you guys that is odd that I don't know if has anything to do with my situation. This house I bought, um, it's a mobile home. I paid 25000 for it with my divorce money. And it is literally leaking out of every single thing it can leak out of. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this is a, some kind of a curse on me that affects me. Um, it's very, very negative energy. Um, I, I, I went for two years with not a toilet because we couldn't get the toilet to fix. And I started thinking about it. Every single house I've ever lived in has toilet issues. Every single house. It's been weird. That is weird. Yeah. And it's, it, it, this is just kicking my ass because I don't have money to invest in this kind of stuff. And um, I'm only on social security, very bare minimal. The, getting the healing with you guys that one time was the only time I've ever had any money to do anything with. And then I finally had my ex come and help me, but I hated having his energy here because it's so negative, but that was the only thing I could do. I had to yeah. have a man come in and fix this because I uh, can't do it. Have you ever put protection on your house? Protection on the house. See, I put protection around the house all the time. But I mean, saging doesn't seem to help at all to remove well, any. Saging, saging doesn't, it's not as powerful as, um, you know, frankincense is but as good, but, but putting, you know, like vi the violet flame. Mm -hmm. I use St. Germain. Okay. But sometimes it's yeah. just, it just needs repair. It's not a curse. Okay. Sometimes it's, my, what is it? My, yeah, my, my house is leaking everywhere. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> And I'm a man, I should be repairing it, but I'm you too know, busy. Don't, you know, not putting it out there is, a, is another good thing, that everything's great with my house. And I always have money. Never say you don't have money, because that's, you know, putting that out there. You you are, you always have what you need and more. Great. Always. Yeah, in the structure, create a violet flame seed and put in your structure, and it'll go into your structure part and protect your house. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, You'll always be provided and you're never without money. Never. Yeah. We'll you always put, be provided. Yeah, you put a mirror shield around it as well. Okay. So yeah. Facing out. Right. Facing out. So that anything that get anything that comes towards it will go back to the sender. Yeah. Okay. The mirror facing out. Okay. 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 Um, um, what about diabetes? What do I need to do to cure that or fix it or help myself? Uh, a program your brain to fix it your brain is a computer and it should be able to fix everything in the world but you just got to tell it you got to take over your brain and say look fix me diabetes that's what i'll see okay. what's the what's the other one Dad? okay all right that's sugars and yeah. that's the main one yeah okay. just say stop yeah. stop it says draconians will be killed tonight that's it my what Dracos will be killed tonight. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> joke. It's a joke. Manifestation a joke. friendship. I can't see it. Manifestation. Yeah, friendship. So manifestation, your plans may change. You see peace and happiness on the way. Uh, and friendship, I think that's getting rid of old. You're surrendering old friends and gaining new ones. That's it. Oh, good. Yeah. I definitely want some new friends now that I got rid of all the bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be that. Okay. Thank okay. you guys for everything and You're for welcome. The pets and all yeah. that stuff. You're welcome. Oh, you. So much better now that I know you and where to go for explanations. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you guys. Thank You're you welcome. So Thank you. We will go to the next one. Maggie. <laughs> Come on in. Come on down, Maggie. <laughs> it's our VIT still gone, are you on mute? <laughs> You're on. Are you on mute? You're on mute. Yeah, Maggie. yeah, yeah, on mute. Maggie, Maggie. But just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I I unmute so early and then I mute again. <laughs> oh, you keep saying. Cannot just describe my camera. I have a psychedelic camera. It's again always the, the light. Okay, just tell me 
whatever whatever you see in me in my future in my in my conscious everywhere in my body my perfect beautiful body young of course father said now you're talking maggie yes <laughs> i like i like what you're saying maggie yes my beautiful young perfect body <laughs> exactly he's smiling saying yes that's a, that is exactly and healthy me. And healthy. That's right. Oh, he sent you this white diamond light. Ma Michael's with you, by the way. I don't Michael. know why. Michael's always with us. <laughs> yeah. She calls Michael all the time. So Michael is always with her. Day and night. Day and <laughs> night. When I go to bed, when I wake up, when I eat, all the time, Michael. She likes, Michael. She likes the tall blue-eyed blondes. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> is that why Michael's not doing any angelic work at the moment? I don't know. He's just with you all the time. When I leave the house, I walk with him on the street. If I walk on the on the fields, I talk to him out loud. I make joke with him. There's any clairvoyant ones that uh, on the street, they must see this big, tall, 10-foot blonde, blue-eyed angel next to you. <laughs> oh my god he's in danger tell him <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful to walk next to me he's in danger <laughs> he's with you thank you my love thank you i love you so much the sunny smiling to your back shoulders arms and shoulders yes yeah, shoulders and yes. arms and hips is... hips and legs mm -hmm. all back. on the right side is everything on the right side it's probably your, your left side likes Malta, but your right side doesn't. <laughs> Are you left-handed? No. I can ride the same if I ride this slowly because I, I train myself to ride with the left hand exactly how I do with the right. But I, I ride, I'm a right hand. You're ambidextrous. Mm -hmm. I am getting a sensation that I'm going to move soon from here and that I, I am uh, that a man come my way. Am I right? Yes. I am feeling him very near already. No idea what he come from. Does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Will he know though? <laughs> you doing that a spell on him. <laughs> Bring him in. <laughs> Archangel Michael's like, well, last soon. <laughs> <laughs> get your cowboy cowgirl boots and hats on <laughs> i love cowboys <laughs> rick was a cowboy <laughs> did you listen wow. to him man? <laughs> Dad, Seriously. did you did you listen, did you listen to him he was doc holiday <laughs> i i would i i was a dream to go to, to oh. Texas in America just to, to have a cowboy party, a real one. <laughs> we have cowboys here in Arizona. Yeah, real ones. Lots wow. of them, real ones. Real cowboys, yeah. Oh, wow. We, we have them in the UK, but that cowboy work. <laughs> Where they do a punch <laughs> job. <laughs> cowboy job. Yeah. Just say stop and I'll give you two cards. One of them will be new love, hopefully. Stop, please. <laughs> Surrender and release. A retreat. <laughs> Soulmate, third card. I've given you three because I was trying to get you, your man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Yeah, surrender and release. You know what okay. surrender and release is. Stop hanging on to worries, let it go. Surrender Stop hanging on to... So... doesn't matter you're living in the most. Surrender. Day. Yeah. And the and... other two? Retreat, you take a small break away from Malta. And soulmate is, uh, you can find your soulmate with the same goals. You just got to manifest it in connection with yes, you. Yes, uh, uh, one thing that I like to ask as well, yeah. uh, I didn't saw the vision, but I am, it's like, how can I say, I see like a picture next to me and I got the name of a retreat that is my dream to have a big house like with with a house with a piece of land around and um i got a, a, the name of the, the the retreat that i like to make and i i was seeing the picture so like next to me it was 
quite uh, interesting. And um, this is my dream, to have a house where I can welcome people to, to have like a retreat, to, to help people to um, reconnect with nature, to, <clears throat> um, to release uh, energy, bad energy, to refound the, uh, re redefine themselves. And this is my dream to do it. And I am I'm having the feeling that things start to... They, I am feeling the energy from these things already, and I am quite excited. And I am sure I leave Malta. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> there you I'm go. ready for it. I start to pack my suitcase already. <laughs> yes. There you go. Say, okay, <laughs> let's do it symbolic because something, some action must come here. And when I wake up. When I leave my sleeping room, because I close the door that uh, is two rooms here, but when I go to my sleeping room, I close the other door. I don't like to have to do anything with this room. And in the morning before I open the door, I just say, I'm entering my new life, infinite health, infinite youth, infinite happiness, and everything else that I wish. And then I open the door and I come inside. Beautiful. And I Feel the energies differently. I'm rich. Here we go. <laughs> this sounds yeah, like the Matrix I... deal. <laughs> <laughs> this steak tastes like steak. <laughs> Thank you so much, my You're beloved. Welcome. You're welcome. I love you all. Love big, you. big, big hug. And I stay here, of course, with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Nice having you around, Maggie. So we go to the next one, Cindy. Sin Cindy, she is asking for Hello. body scan and help for her to stop smoking. So it didn't work last week. No. Did it taste different? No. Hmm. I I good. have been going longer and longer with cigarettes though. Okay. You have to want to quit. It's not it's not easy. So if you want to quit, let it go. You feel the energy in your head? Yes. I know what my aspect says. Why don't you set a program that every time she wants a cigarette, she has diarrhea? But I think that's a bit too cruel, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a little bit, Phil. Just a little. It's a bit drastic. See, <laughs> that would make you quit, wouldn't it? That would make me <laughs> quit. Oh, Throwing up would make me quit. <laughs> Throwing up? Okay, I'll do that one. <laughs> yeah, that, that, would, mm -hmm. that would make me quit. Not the diarrhea. <laughs> You'd be on the toilet with a cigarette. I'd, I'd sit on the toilet with it. I'd sit on the toilet with a cigarette. <laughs> and a book. I know. See? Did you feel that? Yes. I'm trying to make your brain forget you've ever, you don't get you smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I could feel my mind telling myself that I don't want, I don't need, I don't. Just talk, talk to yourself and say, I don't smoke anymore. Just tell yourself, yeah. I don't smoke anymore. Yeah. I don't smoke. I, I, I've never have smoked in my life before. <laughs> yeah. Rick has never say, smoked. Say it's funny when we pulled into the Walmart parking lot, I said, Gabby, I'm, a, I'm out of cigarettes. We need to stop. She goes, mom, we're <laughs> you're getting on the webinar. What are you thinking? <laughs> So I have I have none. I don't need any. Right. So I don't smoke anymore. I don't, I don't smoke, smoke anymore. anymore. I no longer smoke. I, I I quit many years ago, and I was I've never had one since. I quit at twelve. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm glad. You <laughs> I start I started at eight. That's like a young age to smoke, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, and also I used to smoke my mum's tea leaves. And yeah. She, yeah, and she had enough because she knows the tea was going down. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had to give up that one. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. No. Oh. Right. Um, I uh, I also had something in the middle of my back. Like I'll be up, maybe you know, just work around by the, by the time four to six out. Well, six hours rolls around. It's almost like a a stabbing pain from the middle of my back to like like my breastbone like right there like right 
through me. They, the doctors tell me I have a degenerative spine. Right. And I ripped a wing muscle, but I, I don't, I think of myself as very healthy. Degenerative spine just means, um, it's not arthritis. It's just, it's giving, it's, it's according to your age, it's slowly deteriorating. It could be arthritis. They didn't say arthritis. No, I, I have rheumatoid arthritis in, in my, your back, in your back chest and arms and and back yeah so since I was 18 but you know I deal with it and that's and that's that's where the degenerative spine is it's from the arthritis okay okay try and be positive all the time because if you get stress it feeds it so you, yes when you are stressful you probably feel the pain more yeah definitely you know, not be stressful yeah, giving up smoking might be stressful, <laughs> so, but it won't be because you can mindset it. It's not. Yeah, it's almost yeah. like you didn't. Your with what he did, it's like you never smoked. So just you don't you, you just give it up. Just don't even think about it. Try and keep your mind off of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you crochet? Yes, I do. That's what you'll be doing a lot of. Keep your hands busy. Yeah. Yeah, because it's very hard to smoke and crochet at the same time. Well, then you just crochet. And I'm not going to, yeah. I'll send you a blanket for your new house. (laughs) Yeah, tomorrow. (laughs) Tomorrow. tomorrow. (laughs) Exactly. You want two cards? I've been giving you two cards before. It's a long day. I can't remember. Uh, No, you haven't, but I would love it and appreciate it. Uh, Yeah. Did you hear that, Sophie? Stop. <laughs> Sophie's turned into Eel Teach Lovers. How did that happen? I'm sure we did just have that. Divine guidance, manifestation. Wonderful. So guided by your intuition, too. To receive peace from your manifestation to stop smoking. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, by the way. I have the same backdrop in my bedroom. Very nice. What's that? Your t- the tree of life mirror. Oh, that tree of life. I've got that. Uh, yeah. I've got a blue yeah. one as well. Yeah. yeah. That's where the yeah. telly is. <laughs> <laughs> I put it over yeah. the telly. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank Good you. Have a great one. day. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Ryan, wake up. Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, where are you? Ryan, Ryan, did you fall back asleep? Yes. <laughs> but you did. <laughs> no, but not, it's, it's 8, 18 here. How are you guys going? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say it's about nine hours ahead of us. <laughs> By morning, it's eight hours ahead of us. <laughs> now what, you want scan and healing or? All of the above. Yeah. Thank you, please. What's going on with your eyes today? They look funky. Hmm. Did you freeze? Oh, there, you're back. I'm getting tingling in years. I don't know why. Probably the Bluetooth. Uh, uh, Bluetooth. Oh, like, you, the Bluetooth, it's frying your brain cells. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I can feel it. Like, very <laughs> strong. Like, the, you know, the air, the air, uh, the ear pods, whatever you call them. The brain cell killer. That's right. <laughs> yeah, like it's very, like a strong radiation feeling, you know. That's what Cindy needs for the smoking part. <laughs> So it damages the brain that thinks she needs to smoke. <laughs> hey, maybe. Do you, feel, yeah. do you feel anything in your head? I always feel things in my head, very strong headaches all the time. And I actually haven't oh, stopped talking. I mean, yeah, them uh, pods aren't doing you very well. It almost looks like a crystal in his head. Just like That's what this. it feels like, yeah. It looks just like this. Is it calcification? Or is it... <laughs> it looks just like this behind his eyes. Yeah, I can feel it. And it's that big. Is it a good thing? I've never seen this before. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Could be brain cell damage. It's turned crystalline from the frequency. It's not. Mm. It's it's behind his eyes. Mm. The heck? It's the biggest implant I've ever seen. And now it's got legs. What the heck? Whoa. <laughs> it's not a crystal. It looks like one. Shapeshifter. Yeah. It's pretending to be a crystal. Mm. Yeah. And now he's outside your body. He didn't like being caught. 
you didn't feel it leave? Yes, I did actually. I felt a uh, massive difference just leaving. Yeah, I did. Uh, have, you been in, have you been in the sea recently? I'm getting water. I don't get it. Well, I do have a lot of showers, but out I have an outdoor like shower at the beach and I go there. I have like a go in the sun and I have showers, go in the sun, I have showers. Like, um, I'm, I'm getting that's where you go it from. This must be like connected to the sea, but I think it would be tap water there. Like, uh, no, it is connected to the sea. Well, oh, it's connected to a sea on another planet. I'm getting that's where you got it. Whether it's connected to sea or not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that's where you, where, where it attached itself yeah. to you. Okay. And I think all the damage you've had and the aura fields and all this astra travel and stuff like that, I think. Uh, it must have a, a point where it can get it. And now he's got all these arms. Whoa. Yeah, almost like an octopus. He's changing. He just doesn't want us to know what he really is yet. Now he's back into this shape. Not inside of you. He's next to you. And he's giving me a headache. It's all right. I'm just going to send him love. No. Turned into a dolphin. I said, no, I don't. I know you're not a dolphin. <laughs> They're beautiful. No. Do you, do you ever get something on the back of your neck? Yeah, I I do. I do. Yes, I had that. Mm. That's like a tracking device. That's why they can target you. That weakens your aura field. They can mm-hmm. get it. Um, so it's the device that can weaken all the fields. Zap your energy. That's a club. Yeah. There, yeah, but I'm being told of that thing whatever it is is an alien being that can shape shift into anything that it really wants to right it has changed several times yeah it's actually a alien being it's not an implant or anything like that which we thought it was it's a word mm. i was getting it as a uh, very weird and it's connected to the sea it's and it's an why it's connected to the sea but it's an alien being that can form into the this now? like an aquatic yeah well that wouldn't surprise me because it kept changing into some sort of um, underwater um, creature. Mm. It's gone. Your finger at the back's gone, by the way. Yeah. So Thank I don't you. know why it went. For, I don't know why it went for you. It's probably for energy. I don't know. Yeah, I've been trying this thing where I have an intention of um, integrating all my like my soul, like all the parts of my soul, into one, so I come more complete. So this kind of doesn't happen because I feel like. You know, the different altars of me. Like when I dream, oh, I feel all, like I'm all, in a different all altar. Your as- all your aspects in the over soul. So you're saying you're merging with your aspects here. Yeah. Okay. That's, on, that's my intention to do that. Just make sure so this doesn't yours. happen. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been doing it. So uh, this alien one is just coming for the ride, I think. Uh, it, um, it wasn't some... definitely wasn't part of you. Oh. <laughs> it was a no, little yeah. I, don't, I don't think I was an aspect of you. Interesting no. thing. So no, yeah. Didn't feel like I didn't feel like it was doing it to help you. No, it didn't feel like that at all. And I feel <laughs> lighter. Like it felt like a lot so of stress. I was sitting there looking at it, going, <laughs> "What the hell?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Wow, big crystal." Yeah, wow, it's funny. Yeah, but it, I that. mean, it's so funny because I had this sitting in front of me, and I go, "It looks just like it." Yeah, it just mimics. It's a mimic. Like it mimics anything. It did. Yeah. Wow, and, so intelligent, you know, become, you know. And we come from Sirius, where the dolphins and the whales come from. Then he changes yeah. it to dolphin, and I went, "Yeah." yeah. So anyone else try would again. be like, "Oh, it's the dolphins," you know, yeah. oh, "It's the dolphins." Yeah, try again. Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I thought it was really good, but yeah, the headaches. Usually, when I get a big headache, that tells me I'm getting a like an into like a something. You know, yeah. 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 But my as- but my has- aspect my aspect said, "How do we kill a crystal?" <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I know. So it's it's shape shift is a crystal. We got, yeah. Is it going to be the same molecules as a crystal? I don't know. I don't know. See, so like me grounding, or like I don't know. Like how do I? Because it makes you tired, and then your auric field is weakened. How do you stop that? Or I just got to accept it, let it go. It is, and move on. It's probably having so much fun in Astro that uh, you pick loads of things up. So annoying. It's so annoying. Yeah. You're doing the midnight one, Sue. You're, you're good <laughs> now though. Let, let me let me seal up your auric field. Do you want two stack cards while well, yes? Thank you, field. please. Stop. 
Yeah, this thing in the back, if we can your field to you, we should have spotted that, but sometimes you just don't spot stuff. And things are coming in and like, um, and these yeah. could be just versions of me that have been like, I'm, you know, when we're bringing in different versions of us, things start popping. It's listening, yeah. trust. Yeah, trust. Let go of your past. Our fields are right now. Yeah. Thank you. Listen, Thank you. is you are listening to them, use the knowledge and intuition. Yeah. And trust. So when I get a headache, so when I get like a headache, I just oh that yeah. that will be telling me straight away, and then I just gotta clear it like you guys. You, you gotta like, learn from, from, the, from the things that you've had in the past, and that's one of them. Yeah, clear it. Bring in your art chakra power. And just send love to everything that's in you, and then you might do a run of that. Well, thank you, thank you guys for that. I do, also unexpected, you. unexpected creatures. It was for me too. <laughs> You always, give, you always give us such in such odd. Yeah, shit. We, but we go. It's like a puzzle. We gotta work it out. Yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. Really interesting shit, boy. <laughs> I'm happy it's entertaining. Yeah. If you ever notice? Uh, <laughs> no, I learned so much. <laughs> yeah, if you ever notice, Deb has half a story. I have half a story, and it, it seems to work. It seems mm, to it's amazing. beautiful synergy. Like, yeah, it's a, you know, yeah. if that's the right word, like. Many things. Yeah. Oh, can't do it without my sidekick. He sees he's, he's <laughs> the one with the energy. I get the downloads. It's a beautiful combination. Yeah. It is really. Really, really is. We're a great team here, the three of us. We work well together. All righty. We ready? Thank you, guys. I'll let you guys go. I'll be working. Thank you. Thanks. Lily? She's not there. Julian. Hi. Hi. Seen you, Hi. honey. <laughs> You look I'm better. I'm going to in advance if I'm a bitch today, but I might be uh, premenstrual <laughs> <laughs> and in pain. So it's those kind of hormones. Uh, yeah. But first, I'd like to thank whoever saved me from uh, getting hit by a car head on on St. Patrick's weekend because it swerved and I was okay. Archangel Michael <laughs> said, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, uh, my wrist is... Um, I woke up and it was like there's surgery there. Ooh. And show it, show it, show it. That yeah. sounds like you've done some anastra. Well, like the wrist is just so damn popular, but that's like so two years ago. Mm. Um, I don't know. Fangs, fangs, what, what fangs? Those are fang marks. Yeah, it sounds like some when you were astro traveling, you brought it back. Like really? A bite, isn't it? Yeah, sounds like it. That's kind of hot, but not really. If, if you wake up to that and you haven't been biting your hand, <laughs> if you haven't been know, it, it's... like an implant it seemed like something was under under there and um i don't know could be a parasite okay that's i don't know <clears throat> that's where like i did break my wrist i think i told you guys like three times mm. um there was issues with like wrist stuff before but then they were gone but then i woke up and that was there and um okay, okay where, i just want to say like where's my certificate it, did you send it to bobby or something i don't know certificate i, I was feel like, that. I feel like okay for a day <laughs> and um yeah i think like a maybe i'm not even joking maybe like a like scorpion parts are coming out of my ear mm. and my chin's still messed up yeah i'm sick of this you look a lot better no i don't <laughs> yeah you're you're the half empty person your uh, cup's half full as well yeah. no 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 there's um you actually do have a scorpion yeah but you like, look I'm better not kidding, there's like real she has a scorpion she has a scorpion going on in the side of her I think that's been what's in there. That's why I kept saying it, it wasn't fangs. It was actually stingers. And you do have implant now. Do you want to see uh, my ear? I'm getting you've been somewhere in Astra and it's come, it's followed you back. Yeah, I've been it, sleeping it feels, it feels like a Ryan. feels like you've been to a Ryan. You and, you and Ryan should get together. A Ryan. No, she and Ryan should get together. <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> they, they have these interesting... Oh, and, uh, yeah, well, I think we already are in this group. <laughs> if there's any messages that might want to come through, wow, for assistance, I don't know. I do kind of know, but I... where's the implant? She got implants in the back of her neck. She's got one in her back. She's got one in both sides of her ass. <laughs> Thanks. <Deb. sighs> They're just below the hips. Do you want me to show you my ass? <laughs> Look at Maggie's face. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it won't, won't bother me. 
Oh, no, hold on. It's it's that time of the month, and you don't really want to show us things, you know. <laughs> Not yet, but yeah. She's just PMSing. It's pretty. Makes her, grump, makes her grumpy. The uh, hormones are screaming. Uh, no, I'm just in. I'm just in a lot of pain, and I know it's like you guys say, like just let it go. But it's like um, it's sewn into my chin. That's uh, your, your yeah. left. Your left. What's the back of it? Yeah. The, yeah, her left calf. It has the tracker. You're trying to try and fool us with this crap where they don't do it in the foot anymore. This is just so two years ago, guys. Oh, great. I'm yeah. getting it. You did go somewhere. You've been somewhere and they followed you back because we, we blocked all this. Yeah. We they blocked did. all this. They followed you back. Well, it's, it's the scorpion. Yeah. It's actually the scorpion that um it, he's still inside. Did you did you find him, Bill? Yeah, Bob's after him. Bob's sorting him out. Good. Who's Bob? Bob is a trained. Um, I created a being that eats implants. And is this a squirrel? Scorpions. Yeah. He's a okay. Chip, I gotta tell you something. About a, squirrel. Chip, a chipmunk. All right, because what I didn't tell you guys this a while ago, but there was, <laughs> God, there was a skin, a perfectly skinned squirrel in my backyard. The one day we got rid of it, uh, but it was mutilated, just skinless with the tail, um, sitting in my lounge chair. This is a spiritual creation. All right, I'm just letting you know when you, around mm. the time you created that, no joke, there was a. I, cre- I created it. You've, got, to you've eat. got some neighbors that are pretty sick. <laughs> I, I created it to eat implants, dark energies, and scorpions, and anything else that shouldn't be there. It, uh, yeah, it was a while ago. Or maybe it was somebody's yeah. taxidermy um, project in their yard and a hawk picked it up. And yeah, no, no, it's no. been gone, but um, I don't know if it was. No, somebody was sacrificing a squirrel. That's really nice. That's nasty. It is well torturing it. That's a that's a horrible thing to do. Unless an it was, animal it was a long time ago, though. It was like last summer. It's still horrible. It's yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. Bob says scorpions don't taste nice. Mm. Yeah, they don't. But thank you, Bob. Thank you. It's not a squirrel. It's a chipmunk. Oh, okay. It Did talks like the take baking okay. soda and some distilled water. Make a little paste okay. of it. Mm-hmm. Yes, when this happens, put it on your chin. Let it dry. It just dries off and flakes off. Mm-hmm. And every time that happens, because it, it just dries it all up and they just go away magically. Dries them all up. Not the kind of box of Arm & Hammer. That's not real baking soda. That's, that's processed. Get yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, kind yeah, of yeah. All time and baking soda about. cleanses and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Can you feel that energy? Sending you healing where you need it? Uh, I think so. I just feel raged up. Going into your heart, white energy that comes out molten gold. It's going to go through your bloodstream and hopefully get rid of this and the other stuff. It should feel like warm water going through you. If you don't feel it, don't worry about it. That means you've got a lot of energy vibing through you anyway. Yeah. Like my mind's <clears throat> fine, but uh, I'm just sick of getting caught up in scorpion and bit and all this other shit. And I'm, and I'm doing all the methods. I have Michael go stay with you during your dream times, Michael, Archangel Michael. Thank just, you. Just in case this happens again. That way, you know, I, I do it because I I don't I don't remember my dreams. I remember all mine. I had a I had this dream. I was in a kind of like a nice forest piece of land and um I was building things out of crates. My brother was there and then my dad was there and he um we had all these chairs that we or like yeah like folding chairs like stacks of them that we inherited and then my dad stacked them in a row real good and we put them in the kind of driveway. <clears throat> and then I told my dad that we should build a carport and cover the chairs. <laughs> I forgot to tell Rick that your father managed uh, Rick. What's his face? Rick James. Rick James. <laughs> I forgot to tell. Managed. <laughs> well, he, you know, yeah. Well, he was his, what was he, his agent or his book? book? His co- he, he was his coke killer <laughs> long ago. Long time ago. I've been told that you ended up joining a fight in Astra. That's where it came from. There was a bit of a battle going on and you ended up joining and you didn't, it wasn't even your job to join. <laughs> I, I figured something like that. That's you just wanted to join in. Yeah. So do you want two cards? Um, sure. Anyway. Thank you. The, the energy stays with you for a week and a Thank you, stop, stop. Drink <laughs> distilled water if you can. Stop. Yeah. You're getting extra blessings off your angels. Yay. 
truth and integrity, which I can nearly say right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're getting extra blessings off your angels because of difficulties you are going through. Truth and integrity. Try not to make the same mistakes. So I'm not sure what that means. Learn. That's it. Learn. All right. Thank you, Joanne. You're welcome, Bill. My near 10th hour of healing today. It's not bad, is it? Yeah. Did you get a dress yet? I haven't got a dress, no. <laughs> Lemurian. She wears like a, a white cloak. That's cool. I, that would get stained on me. I like trying to wear white, but it always gets blacked up. <laughs> I think good. like a sparkly green dress would go good on you. Yeah. Is that your imagination there? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Oh. Maybe st- you, you think you're ready for stilettos? Hmm? Stilettos. <laughs> You ever try to walk in those yet? You better get some practice. No, I wouldn't want to walk in them. <laughs> no. no. I'd, I'd like five heel boots, but that's another story. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> kink nights. <laughs> get you like a, a, a studded choker. Mm. All right, let's move, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wise choice. That's a smart decision. All right, thank you, Rick. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, thank Joe. You. Have a good one. Welcome, Mike. And you. Thank you. Love you too. Yeah. Right. Anyone else? Is that it? Are we ending it? Then? Did we do? Did we do Suzette already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're closing up and doing so. Shelly keeps on trying to get in and she can't get in. Who? Shelly keeps on trying to get in and she can't get in. Uh, no one's trying to get in. No, no one's trying to get in there now. Is she got the wrong uh, link? Can I ask for Lucy for some help because she gave me permission? Mm. You got a picture? Um, yeah, let me see okay. if I can get it. You guys helped her last week with um Draco and Vortex and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, where is she at? I wish she not could be a lot better now. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> hold on, I'm getting it. Okay, hey Deb, I've got my cat that needs healing. <laughs> What do you think? Okay, who do I send it to? Do I send it to Philip? No, uh, send it to me or Deb and we'll share it. Who, who are you sending it to? To Philip. Okay. Yeah. You want me to send it to you, Deb? It doesn't matter. You're doesn't only matter. one of us. Only one of us needs it so we can share it. Okay, Philip should get it. Okay. Go ahead and put it back up. Okay. You go. Last week, you guys helped her with implant removal and radios and vortex energies, and things were better, but she did get re-implanted, just like me, and um, she's wanting to know about the beings that she sees, their big heads that are in the room. We think they're Arturians or something. When we ask them questions, like she'll ask them, does God love me? They'll say no. So what's up with that? <laughs> they're That's definitely that. not well, Arcturians. They're Arcturians. They are not no. Arcturians. No. Okay. Arcturians wouldn't don't like play games like they're too serious. Arcturians are serious. They don't serious? Such, yeah. Arcturians are too dead serious, so they wouldn't even answer that question. To me. Okay. And they, who would ask that question in the first place? Hmm. I thought we asked that question last week, but I I can't remember now. There are, there are understand that the creator or source right there are many gods right and, yeah so so they may be yeah. not agreeing with the god that she's praying to right which god are you talking about <laughs> she is um a little bit into the bible still so i've told her about the information the god, the, the god of the bible isn't the same one we're all talking about <laughs> right okay that's what i that's what i tell her too those are the the negative ones we don't want. Right. <laughs> right. Very hard to get people to understand that. I know. It's programming. Yeah. It's in doctrine and you know. Yeah. yeah. She's gonna continue to be implanted. Yeah, we've noticed that with us. Until she realizes the God that she's talking to is not creator. Well then what's my problem? <laughs> You're just a target, that's all. You know, I'm getting some frequency just scanning her. I've been doing it too much. It might be like. She has, um, she's very gifted. She has clairvoyance. So she gets confused and is easily manipulated. Okay. The other thing I've been told is by connecting to this false God, she's letting them in as well. Yes. Connecting yeah. to what? False oh, God. 
false gods, like, fake yeah, gods, you, yes. you know, the demigods, demigods. Okay. Them. By connecting to demigods, she's letting them, letting a, a bit of a power out and letting them in. And uh-huh. so it's part of the earth fault she's getting implanted. Yeah. She's too easily led by them. Uh, if, if, what's that? How's that appear, Dad? Can you see them circles? Yes. How are they on there? Good question. <laughs> the, the that's impossible. Yeah, that's impossible. Huh. Ow. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Let me just try it. Stop share screen. Share screen. Uh, hi, Phil. It was me. I was messing around with the, the thing. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Uh, I was worried then. What was that? I was worried then my own two circles thing. But yeah, I, I think she's clear now. What do you think, Dad? Okay. Yeah. So if she's like opening up the Bible and reading through the Bible, that gets uh, you re-implanted by that demigod? It's it's accepting a demigod and it's now communicating to a demigod. And you know, it's by accepting them, you're opening up too much to them. Okay. Is that right, Deb? That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. She's opening up to her too much. Yeah. Okay. So she needs to just stay within her own energy, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Own power. Yeah. Because I uh, tell everybody that all the time. It's the God within you that you should be communicating with and nothing else outside. Yeah. yeah. We, are, we, we are part of God. We're source yes. beings. Yes. Right. And any, any God that replied to that question, you know, it's not going to be a good one. And the answer, uh, it's so negative. It's got. It can't be from source. Yeah. Right. Right. Source would just ignore you. I think because <laughs> that <laughs> that doesn't need answering to be honest. Yeah. So Shelly just sent me an, a message. If you can scan her, I, what, let me see what she said. She's tr- been trying to get in, but for some reason, it's not letting her. The only thing she can do is she might be getting last week's uh, link. Is she going yeah. under? I mean, it's we posted them all over the place. I'm here. I know. Oh, uh, Shelly's here. Not, Shelly's here. Not coming in. I'm here. here. A lot of problems. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm here. Oh, it's probably my iPad. Yeah. I'm yeah. Here. We, we haven't had, unless you've been using the wrong link. We haven't been getting you. No, I just got in here. I was having problems. Right. I've been having problems with my electronics anyway. Anyway, I'll let you get back to her, and and then um, we, I just we done house. it. No, we're I done. Went. We're, We're done. done. I want a health I'm clearing. Go ahead and do Shelly. Yeah. Oh, sure. Thank you. you sure? Yeah. Yeah, we, we're, we're done. done. Yeah, okay. We're done. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just okay. waiting for Rick to come back. Why is my... It's weird. <laughs> yeah, he's getting a drink. Oh, no worries. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mine's a tea, Maria. Dad, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I kept saying my iPad about launching may not be compatible with my browser like that's not right <laughs> so you have what's the difference from uh, last week to this week for you have i noticed anything yeah yeah have you not, not really no no but that doesn't mean it didn't happen but i what, have well negatives happened this week i have earthbounds here that bother me day and night go everywhere with me i can hear them i can see shadows it's just tiring. It's very taxing on me. Okay. What well, what kind of earthbounds? Are they negative or positive? Negative. Well, I'll be I, negative. He he tells me he hates me and everything. Everything negative. Right. The okay. shadow you see, is it one being there? Yeah, I, I think it's just him. But there's more than one here. He's got a girl mm. that I think he controls. Mm-hmm. There's several here, but these two are the ones that are like, gotta go <laughs> okay they're not ne- negative to, to the negative beings they're just lost souls and they just haven't uh, they didn't attach themselves to you they're very just- the the guy's very hateful very hateful uh, that's why it's a lost soul yeah if it okay. wasn't if it wasn't hateful it would have moved on it's hateful yeah. because it's been created like that because of how it lived its life here or it died and it wasn't ready and so it's anger and hate it's keeping it grounded Right. Yeah. Don't know about the other one though. I think the other one has just been picked up by. Yeah, they're both lost souls. She didn't even know him in the in the, the life here. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's a uh, She just kind of tagged along with him. Yeah. Don't just, know what else to do. Control. He's just very controlling. 
He's just talking back to me. Shut the fuck up. Thank you. <laughs> That's him. I think I heard him too, but I didn't hear that part. I just told him, I said, you're not intimidating me. Why, why are you so mean? <laughs> you try to aggravate him. Yeah, he, just, <laughs> he said, shut up or I'll come and haunt you. I said, come on. <laughs> you think you're the first lost soul that we've had? We've had millions. <laughs> Sad. It's so sad. Had six years. We've had so many. It's sad. So much better out there for them. And he, and I said, you're not a ghost. You're just a lost soul. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. And he's asking me, what does that mean? What does that mean? He's not got life force. <laughs> he's got to rob people's life force to live. Mm -hmm. I'm telling, ask him if he sees the light around you. You want me to ask him, you said? No, I'm mm -hmm. asking him. Now I'm just going to. I'll do my normal. Are you going to give him a hug? <laughs> I don't need to. He's more angry with himself, really. I think he's killed. No, I'm I'm in the middle of oh. talking to them, and the lady made her light really, really bright. Now she's in that. Um, oh, oh my God, this feels so good. Sharon, so, like her name's Sharon. Yeah. Do you get his name? Hold on one second. He is it a, is it David or is he just lying to me? Uh, he's lying. He lies. Oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You feel him changing, Phil? Mm. I'm bringing in the uh, his lights going. Platinum and Ray. He's make, he's making his light bigger. Fighting it. Do you feel the energy shifting? Me? Do you feel the energy shifting? I felt like he was bothering me. I, I felt my blood pressure going up. I feel mm -hmm. a little better now. His name's Khabib or something like that. Mm -hmm. She told me she's leaving. She's going to leave now. She's going go to go. She needs to leave. She seems like a nice person who's make, he makes her angry. His name is John. Oh, she told me it was Khabib or something yeah. very unique. That was his, that was his, um, last Pimp name. Day. That's his last name. Oh, okay. okay. So he, everybody has a pilot light when they've lost souls. They have this little pilot light in their heart. Mm-hmm. That's when okay. They're, when they're when they have a light, like all of us have this light according to our vibration, how how, how bright it is around us, and th that's usually when lost souls are attracted to you because they they it's a false light is what they went to, and uh -huh. even even when they're mean like he was and belligerent and yeah, they're still attracted to your light. Yeah. They still hang around your light. Yeah, what she was, she was a prostitute, and she hanged around with him because he was male. It was simple enough. Oh, okay. Needed, needed that control. How did I pick them up? I didn't, we didn't light. ask. Your light. <laughs> your light, your light, but we didn't ask where. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because it's very haunted here in this area. I'm in, I'm in, um, I'm near Jerome, Arizona. I'm in I'm, Clarkville. We're in Phoenix. Oh, so you know about it here. It's yes, bad I, here. Very much, yeah, very much know about it. Yeah. I mean, I got I get aliens walking in. I don't know if they're good or bad. I get spirits left and right. But these two hung around. Yeah. Well, Jerome's I love Jerome. It's one of my yeah. favorite places. I love it too. Sedona and Jerome. Yeah. But but there's so much negative. It's sad. Well, a lot of miners and uh, died there. So you've got probably got a lot of them walking around that uh, have never left. But uh, it's it's a nice town. Yeah, they're not really negative. They're just lost. And, uh, okay. You you have a light to show them to the. So you what you could have done? You could have sent them to the. Uh, the I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. I tried. He didn't want to go. He told me he didn't believe in God. Right. What uh, what, uh, what I do is I get them to you know I. I they they don't know they don't know about the light the pilot light they have and, and what i said was you you know you you liked her light that's why you came here you, that beautiful light i said i bet you can't make your light i said you got that little light in your heart i said that's the same light she has around her i bet you can't make yours as big as hers and so that's when she made hers as, as big i said you can't make it as big as the sun and she made hers huge and she was like Aww. It's what a beautiful feeling. I've never felt anything like this before, ever. Aww. Oh, it's I get good love. Well, and that's that love. It's a, a it's such a beautiful, loving feeling. Uh -huh. And he, he got jealous because she felt that. And that's when that's why I kept saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because he was like, well, she feels like that. And I said, you can't do it. Uh, forget it. You can't do it. <laughs> that's how <laughs> I do it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, he needed her too. 
I felt he needed to control her and needed her. Yeah, well, there's no controlling. They when they get that feeling, then you know, then um, they get taken. The angels come and help them go to their perfect place. Okay, so he's. They're both gone now. They're gone. Okay. Do you see any other ones here? Because I have a really sweet one with her. She was a neighbor and she must have died of, I think, a heart attack. I had my security alarm on. And when my husband and I came home one day, she was calling for help through the security alarm, asking for help. And it was so emotional. It was so sad. She has a raspy voice. I think her name is Andrea. This is the sweetest lady when I read her obituary because my the builder of my house knew her. And her sister lives over here. So I think she's earthbound to stay around her sister. Mm. And every so often she comes here and I hear her. She's got a really raspy voice. And I hear her through, you know, if I'm recording something or my security camera's on. When did she die? She died exactly when I moved in here in 2018. So I was new here and I don't know what made her come to my house of all houses. She she might not be here. She might because, be one of them visitors. She might be visiting in and out. Yeah. They can do that. They can do and I, that. I, what I because read you, about because her. It, when she visits you because you can hear her. Yeah. She just seems like a beautiful lady. Like she would have been really. When's the last great, time you heard her? Um, A couple months ago, maybe. Recently. Recently. Might have heard her sooner than that. I don't but, think she. I'm sorry. What was her well. name again? Her name was Andrea. And then I have a Mexican lady here and a guy and a kid, another guy. I don't think she's a lost soul. I think she just visits. Okay. Okay. I think she yeah. just comes in and out. I don't mind her. It was the last two that you got rid of that were draining me. This yeah, drain time constantly. Like if I'm recording something on TV, he's got to put his input, what his thoughts are. <laughs> he's not. He's gone. He's he's gone to the light. So yeah. What a blessing. Best. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't feel anybody around you right now. Okay, that's good because my body needs a rest from them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wish I could help move them on and I've tried. But that's probably with your light. That would be an ideal job. Would be ideal. Yeah. I you know, I can hear spirits with my ears, but not 24-7. Like I'll get bits and pieces. But I, I mean, I can see them at times, like a shadow or an outline, but it's not I, all the time. I've asked Michael to work on you, to help you, to Thank do that you. job, to do that job. I would and, love to do it, that job. You know, and it's, um, yeah, if you would like to do that job, uh, they'll teach you how to do, to send them to their perfect place. Archangel Michael um, helps us because, you know, we we do the part to get them to their, their you know, their heart, uh, the light big so that then they can take them up uh, yeah i'll give you a story one of mine even though it's late we went to clear this house of a dark witch and we were clearing and we were layering these black stuff off her and next minute i saw a bit of light and i had to tell the group let's stop stop here now and what had happened was she was killed as a witch and her daughter was left on her own and died of uh, food start. Her daughter was 12 and, and couldn't live and died as well. And that anger grounded her. And after 500 years or so, it made it look evil. But as we collect, collecting the layers, all of a sudden she, the light came out. And all of a sudden it wasn't, it wasn't killing a, a dark witch. It was rescuing a lost soul. It changed wow. like that. It was amazing how it changed. Oh, how neat. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I was told I was a witch in another life. I just hope I was not in, an, in another life. <laughs> and that's what they said in another life. I was a not witch. This one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I was one too. Yeah, how funny. Yeah, it's like I, I love animals. Like, did I kill them in another life or something? Why do I love them so much? And I love stones, I love everything witchy. <laughs> It's funny, but not the bad. I don't do the bad. No. Nope. Yeah. We, we've all done bad. We've all done, we've all done dark lives. That's life. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much, you Thank guys. You.